Hi, this is Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. I'm Mojo, and I would like to say welcome to my deck, my backyard. Good morning, good morning. Got some goodness going on here. I'm going to try to figure something out and try to figure out what I'm going to cook. Uh, I always just like figure it out and then buy the stuff and forget what I'm cooking. Uh, first of all, uh, St Stephen and Jacqueline, good uh, good morning, good morning, good afternoon or evening where you're at. Uh, thank you for coming in. You guys are super amazing as always. And um, got the grill going on the, uh, my little uh, Cuisinart grill. Um, I, I forget what the dimensions are, but it's my round grill, which is super amazing. I love this guy. This is my, one of my first ones that I bought. And um, going to put all kinds of ingredients together here. I've got some ham, bacon as the protein, two different ones there. And I'm going to try, try uh, two different ways of doing this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Some veggies. We got some um, jalapenos on a stick. I mean, jalapenos, orange bell pepper, and some mushrooms. Those are going to be super amazing. With some little bit of magic veggie. Veggie, veggie magic. Have a good day at work. Love you. That's our daughter. She's going to work. I hope I have sound. I didn't even check my sound, sound check. I'm sure I do. Am I all on? Um, got some cinnamon. Pure vanilla. Going on the... Um, uh, what do we call it? The egg batter for uh, the French toast, which I'm going to need to dip it in something. Well, got to figure that out. I'll use that bowl. Uh, some cheese, smoked cheese. We got some smoked cheese here, cheddar from um, good old, uh, whatchamacallit, Tillamook down in Tillamook, Oregon. Neighbor gave me a lot of cheese. I have a lot of cheese. Onions. Got some onions. And the, the carb of choice, thick slice Texas toast. Going to be awesome. Sounds clear. Thank you. I appreciate that. Morning. still 1130. It's still 1130. You can come out here. You can come out here. Come here. No, come here. <laughs> no, just kidding. But he's going away. He's going to Eastern Washington. Oh, some seasoning. Um, other seasoning. I got some uh, S&P. Right here. No, they're they're gonna hang out. They're hanging out here. Yeah, it's me to watch them. So, all right, let's get this started. I'm gonna grab because I know I'm gonna need one of these. And let's get this started. What do you think, guys? Yeah. All right, here we go. Time to cook. <laughs> Get those up. You should see these dogs that I have. My buddy's dogs are down here. Um, they're big. They're ma mastiffs. What are they? I think they're like called mastiffs or something. Okay, that's me. Relax. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, Sharp, good morning. All right. Let's do this. Um, I'll go ahead and share the link if somebody wants to help me, you know, keep this. Uh, chat here paste um hanging out but that's there and i'll try to remember all right so there, there. Um, i got that, that echo so if i go on that I wonder if I go like this. Let me try something, guys. No, that ain't going to work either. I'll leave that there. Whatever. All right, let's get this going. Let's get some uh, veggies going. I got this on low, and I need a big favor. One second. One thing I knew I would forget is my oil. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll be right back, guys. I'm grabbing my oil.
So I need to figure out on my mic, on my phone, to turn that bad boy off so I don't get an echo. Let's go like this. Little squirt, squirt. Get some veggies going. I need um need another bowl. If you want to grab me another bowl, that'd be amazing. All right. I really don't need to to uh I'm not going to do that because I'll have to figure that out on my settings. But check it out. It'll boop, boop, right down in there. I'll leave that over here. Uh, as you can see, it's super cold out here. And um doesn't matter. It's 20 degrees. Here we go. We're going to go a little veggie. Veggie magic on this. Good stuff. Squirt a little squirt on that. We'll order a handle for that today. So my buddy's not on the deck. I got my wonderful wife out here helping me out. And uh, she's she's pretty awesome. She said, if only if I cooked her some... You ready for this, you guys? She said, <clears throat> only if I cook her crispy bacon and French toast. So Wade Family Farm. Good to see you in here. Yes, I got your gift. Super amazing. Um, I don't know if you're still on here, but I need to know uh, what's in the sauce. So when I do a video, I can, um, I have an idea that I might hook up with another YouTuber. I'm not sure. It's all up to her. Um, she does spicy challenges. She doesn't live very far from me. And I think it would be amazing if she did it. And I did a cook with that spicy stuff. And I had a couple things streaming in my head in the middle of the night. I woke up and I was like, ah, and I forgot to write it down, but I forgot it, but it'll come back to me. So I need to kind of know what's in that. So I can like uh, say it's these peppers, that peppers or whatever. But thank you so much. Excuse me while I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Coffee. Hey. But yeah, that would be a uh, pretty cool if I could get that from you. <clears throat> and uh, so so appreciative that you did that. That was super amazing. All right, so this right here is a lot of goodness, right here. Just that alone, I could just eat that with a spoon. Okay, what else am I going to get started here? Um, this is actually going to go pretty quick. I should do some eggs. Crack up some eggs and uh, do this. How many crack their eggs on the side of a pot? You know? Got my little garbage bag going on here. You know what I'm talking about? Like you go like this, crack. Well, when you do that, eggshells get into the eggs. So do it on a flat surface, they don't. That's just what I've been taught anyways by other YouTubers. So how many, what am I doing here? Let's go three. I don't even know what I'm, I'm so, Saturday mornings is my recovery from during the week. So I'm always so tired on Saturdays, but, um, I'm pretty relaxed. I went to bed, got organized last night. Went to bed at a decent time. And uh, this is going to be in my way. Here we go. Just a dash. You know how much a dash is? Just a couple drops. We don't need much of this pure vanilla stuff. Just a little couple dashes. Drip, drip, drip. Just a little bit. A little bit. 
So she she's having a moment because my buddy's not here. Hey, Lola. She's actually barking. You know what she's doing? She's barking at my buddy's dog because my buddy's dog is trying to figure out how to get out. That's funny. You did it. You being a good girl. All right. So a little dash of that. I'm going to put a little dash of this. Uh, Sorry about my dog barking, guys. Lola, you need to go in the house? Oh, you know what we forgot? Let's put some onions on here, guys. What's wrong with me? Best part, man. Uh, onions flavored. And you know what I forgot to do? Check this out. I saw this the other day. Rinsing your onions after you dice them up, you know, um, they just taste better all around. So totally forgot to do that. Next time I'm going to do that just to compare on that taste. How did I forget my onions? So this is pretty much of a, a chilled out, relaxed cook because it's super easy. Um, just throw some butter in there. You know why? You know why I should throw some butter in there? Because butter is flavor. Butter in there. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for a little bit of oil. Get those cooking. I did turn those off too. All right. Let's get those cooked up a little bit. How do you like your onions? Do you like them a little crispy? Because this is going to be kind of like a little omelet type of a sandwich right here. And I'm doing two different types. So see how it goes. <clears throat> Jenny, good to see you in here. Teresa's in it. Crazy Ann, what, what? What's up, Crazy Ann? That girl's crazy. She comes all the way from the other side of the world, I think. I don't know if it's down there. I think China's down below me. But she's all the way on the other side of the world somewhere. Good to see you in here, Crazy Ann. Teresa? Or Teresa. Yeah, that's Teresa. Gosh, you guys you know it sucks getting old and your eyesight goes, you know? I need to go back to I need to go get some new glasses. Um, Keith. Mick Donna, do I dare? Do I dare like ban? Oh, Lep, good to see you in here, Lep. Do I dare ban this guy? <laughs> that's my buddy. So that's my buddy. That's normally on the on the deck. He's over in Chicago right now. He's uh, his grandfather's not doing too hot, so um, he's just you know he told me to hang hanging out in the in the chat a little bit. Uh, Lep, good to see you, sir. It's gonna do a couple little sandwiches here. I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. I wanted to do it a certain this other way, but I was like, you know, that's too much work. I want easy. All right, so let's go. We're about ready to do something here. Add to this craziness. All right. Look at all that goodness. Let's keep this warm. What we got there? Really? <laughs> right? So my wife was just telling me. Here, come here. Let me see. Come right over here. So she just told me she won something from her work, and it was sent in the mail. So I got myself a mug. Is this for me? The hydro flask is it. What is that? One of those things everybody's buying. Oh, with Remember? the stickers? Yes. Dude. Yeah. Do you know how expensive these are? Yeah. Where's the where's the it doesn't have like a No, that's how they have. Oh, you gotta buy them separate? Of course you probably do, huh? No, where do you drink it from? No, you, Sorry one. guys. My I'm having I'm checking something out. I'm gonna steal it from my wife. 
Hey, look who's in the house. Party Cloud 420. Um, that's how you drink it. You unscrew it. And... Well, some of them have a thing, don't they? No, no, I don't really? Dude, I could put stickers on here from YouTubers. Do I you know, do I get to have this? Dude, what, what? Nice. Thank you for interrupting. <laughs> All right. That's crazy. Did I get anything else in the mail? All right, let's see. What am I doing now? I get, look at this. I don't know if you can see this. There's a big dog down here. Oh, he just moved. She's pretty awesome. Okay. I need to beat that up. Um, what else do I need to throw down? Some meat. Let's get this meat cooked up. Okay, I've got this meat. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this meat. So let's do this. Some ham. I kind of dice some ham up. Same with the bacon. And I was going to do this two different ways. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Figure it out when I'm done here. The back, back there. Look at the juice that's flowing from those onions. I can go over there. I don't want that cooked up too much. What you, you smelling some food? I guess I should have started the bacon first, but it's all right. Good bacon. I love the uh, going to the meat counter and getting their thick bacon. But then also I like thin bacon for other things. She likes the thin bacon. She's got a pack in there. I'll be cooking for her later. All right. What 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 do we uh, what do we got going on today? I think back down there is a trailer full of yard debris that I need to go take to uh, the recycle place or dump so they can uh, take it away. I smoke weed every day. You get the bills, Mojo. <laughs> Nice. Shark, if you're gone already, hope you have a good day, sir. Thank you for coming by. Um, what was I doing here? Okay, so we're going to get this bacon climbed up. Let's crank this up a little bit, get this cooking. I'm never going to have stuff done. That's kind of cool. You, how did you win it? Uh huh. Oh really? And you won? Apparently, I don't win anything big because they're giving away money and trips. And shit. Trips? Yeah. Are you kidding? They're giving away what kind of trips? Crazy. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, this coffee is. Hopefully, it's not going to get cold on you. Yeah, it's warm. all that cream in there it's going to be cold all right let's do this um i need to put some eggs in this my mess on the egg i don't know what i'm doing i'm kind of lost i'm tired you know when i'm really tired and i can't just think i, st I start doing that when i'm cooking and i'm like what am i cooking and where am i going with this cook it's coming to me. 
Um, we need to get a uh, fire pit over there, Chicky. Let's go like four eggs. Figure this out. These eggs aren't cracking very well. All right. Let's see. Let's see. See. Come on, you crank that. Get this bacon going. All right. As my bacon's cooking, as soon as that's done, I'll be really close. Got some more ham that doesn't belong in there. Get out of there. Uh, I'll be ready to. It'll be almost done, actually. Okay. Get up in there in the hot spots. Man, I, you know, I actually love cooking on this little guy. Wish I had more real estate. Babe. Outdoors with Big Matt. I just. I just ate, and now I'm hungry again. You know what, Matt? You don't even know. This ain't even. This isn't. This is. This hasn't even begun yet. It's begun, but when it's done, it's going to be super amazing. Alexa, turn off deck lights. It's going to be super amazing. So I think. I hope. All right. Come on. Hurry up and cook. This is the hot spot. <laughs> are they giving are they giving uh some love in there going on me? Or what? <laughs> Check these dogs out, you guys. Right there. Oh, these are big monsters. That that uh, what do you call it? A red dog, orange cunt dog. Um, what do you call redheads? Um, what do you call redheads? Ginger. Is that a ginger dog? Is is that a bad thing to say, ginger? I don't want to offend anybody, <laughs> except for one person. <laughs> you know who that is? My ex-wife. <laughs> Isn't she a gent? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Be quiet. I'm going to get myself in trouble. Okay. Big map. Woof, woof. Gina. Hey, if anybody wants to come up here, you know, and talk and help me uh, entertain this chat, you're more than welcome to. I'm trying to get this bacon going. I should have started it. A while ago, but it's all right. Just chilling. Got dogs barking in the house now. All right. I'm going to crank up this whole thing and get it going blazing here. This doesn't hurry up. Um, bu, 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 bu. see, the thing is, if I take this off of this, um, the other food, the ham and stuff, it gets cold quick out here. So we're going to do something different here. I think. I don't feel like doing it. I'm being lazy. Don't need these anymore. Don't need this anymore. Just take this off of here. Dude, it, it's, it's actually cold out here. You know that, babe? Let's get this off. I might need this here in a bit. Do this. Do a little change. Good smoked uh, cheese. Don't forget the cheese. All right, let's crank this guy up. Sorry, I 
<laughs> you can't remember the names. Yeah. Come on, light. Come on, we don't have time for this. I'll just use one side. Okay, so we got that going. Let's transfer this stuff over here. Low. All right, let's crank it up. Stay warm. All right, two cooking surfaces. We're going to crank this up. Now we're going to crank it. Okay. I'm back. Toy man, good to see you. It's cold out here. Is my chat, is my chat not on on the TV? Dude, it is a little cold out here this morning. All right. Boy, this is not wanting to cook fast for me. All right, we're about there. Guess I should have cooked the bacon on the Blackstone because you know why? Blackstone would have said boop, boop. It would have had it done quick. No, they're good. They can stay outside. We'll take them in when we go in. Huh. I smell bacon. All right. Let's get some French toast going. Some eggs going. Actually, some eggs. Let's get eggs going. New scraper from Blackstone. It's kind of fairly new. I don't want that in my bacon. Boy. Totally different cooking surface than my Blackstone. This is... All right. Let's do some eggs. There you go, baby girl. Eat that goodness. Um. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Okay, that stuff's keeping warm. All right, let's go eggs. This is my eggs hide net. So I wanna, now this thing is slanting a little bit, so I gotta be careful. I miss, I need, I don't like cooking like this. I don't like my Blackstone. Turn you down. All right, here we go. Wait. I don't know, but they were trying to dig out that side over there. 
All right, I need to throw another egg in here before that cooks up, if I'm ready for it. Okay, being quiet. Where is my pepper and salt? All right, let's do this. Let's get her going. Little pepper, little S and P. What's that? Pow. A little bit more. Okay. Um, let's flip this bacon. I'm going to knock something over. There we go. That's what we want. That's what we want right there, guys. I'm not sure if you can see that. Look at that crispiness. That's what you want. You don't want no freaking fatty little bacon, non crispy bacon. All right. My eggs. All right, we're getting there. All right. All right, all right, all right. If I hang my stuff, my dogs are going to lick this. Dogs are going to lick this stuff. Okay, what am I doing? All right. All right. We're going to flip these guys over. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I need to... Cut this off because I need to figure out my French toast. Thank you, Bacon, for cooking. Don't fall. Get over there and stay warm. Gosh, those onions and stuff are going to be delicious, babe. Okay. Egg, stay over there. Stay cool for a second. I figure this out. Just gonna do some French toast. Just gotta have the bread before everything. Hey, I just dropped bacon, Lola. Put some bacon down there. All right. Drop some cheese. This is good cheese right here. Um, we're going to go with just the cheese on that. And the other one, we're going to go with the onions because this one's just the ham. Going with the ham. You know what I like doing? Trying to figure, what'd you say? You need a napkin. So you know what I like doing, you guys? I like cooking. And then I like not figuring out what I'm doing because I really didn't analyze what I'm doing and leaving the ham out so it can dry out. But it's not completely dried out. It's good. We're going to cut this off. because That's going to be the sandwich. And why not some more cheese? Got to be careful because I... Need to save the cheese for the other sandwich. Okay, that. Uh, let's get some uh, of this going. French toast. So, like, so I've got this batter, and I've got. Uh, I'm leaving the goodness on there because goodness is good for this. Let me do four of these. Okay, two more. Hear those dogs? Is that your girl? <laughs> yeah, I see that. They're like sad because their dad just left. You know? All right. What's going on there in the chat? I'm trying to figure cooking out here. Anybody still in here? Okay, this can go away. Um, let's go up this. What'd you say? All right. So I got that off. I want that egg there. 
to that. I'm, I'm going to do some more eggs mixed in. So in this, this batch, we're going to do some peppers, onions, and what do we got in there? Orange pepper, onions, and uh, peppers, onions. Might as well do a little bit of bacon in there. Peppers, onions, jalapeno, mushrooms. That's what we got in there. Magic mushrooms, babe. We're in spy. Spatula, we're going to go over. Pretty thick. those over all right it's getting getting closer got a lot of goodness sitting over on this grill gg would you like the bite Baby girl. <laughs> here you go. Where are you going? Over here. Who wants it? Big dog. Hey, give me a favor. Catch. Catch. Feed that to uh, that one. Yep. All right. Where am I at with this food? This has got to sit right here for now. Now we're ready for you. Do a little flip. Dude, this actually looks super good. You want to do me a big, huge favor, which I forgot? Syrup, do we have syrup in there? Yeah. I need syrup really quick, I think. Yeah, syrup's good. A little sweetness. Look at that. Gosh, that looks so good. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to come in here and look at that. Take a look at that freaking. Alexa, turn off grill light. Look at that. Gosh, that's delicious looking. Holy how about her. You know? Oh, this is going to be good, you guys. I can either see. Hey, who wants eggs? Over there, doggies. Here's some eggs. 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 Where's Gigi? Gigi, 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 Gigi. Okay. All right, let's get some cheese on this guy. Um, what do you grab? Would you just grab me? Oh, syrup. Yeah, I need that syrup right now. Lots of cheese. And we're going to flip these and be ready to do my thing. And we have Mrs. Butterworth's. Butterworth's. I don't know how this is going to be, but I just want a little bit of drizzle on this. What'd you say? I said drizzle. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to mount. I said mount too. Just a little bit, just a little teeny bit on going on here. Just a little bit, just to string that. We don't have much time here. Hurry up, come on out. Just a little bit because it's, ah, don't go, go crazy on it. All right, there we go. Just a little bit. All right, let's mount this stuff. All right, um, bacon, right? Because we can. So some bacon, syrup and bacon, man, I tell you, this is peppered bacon, by the way, and um, you can turn you off, come on cheese, you need to melt, 
You can go off. You can go off. Everything can go off. This goes here. What's the matter? Yeah. Oh, there goes the dogs. That's going to be messy. That's good. <laughs> Dude, those dogs would scare the crap out of me. Hey! 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 <laughs> so this is the bacon. Some more bacon. It's all right. Let him, he's gone. Let's stop. Want to go take care of him? Thank you. Stop that guy. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the ham is just strictly ham. This is the people in the trailer. All right. Um, what am I missing? Anything? I think I'm done. Sorry about my dogs, guys. All right. Let's do this. Let's take this stuff off. Turn that off. My cutting board. Actually, can go there. Take a look at this, you guys. This is going to be good. Let's go ahead and get a little focus up here inside. What's that? Ring the bell again. Man, I don't know what. I'm all, it's all like, because I'm not using my Blackstone really. I'm all over the place, babe. All right. Here's number one. The bacon. And the ham. Whew. Look at the cheese. Oh, my goodness. Knife. Give that a little cut. I need to take a picture of this first. Actually, I, yeah. When I do my lives, I never really take the pictures. Oh, Lee, how bowder. Goodness sakes alive. Babe. Get out, you guys. Look at that. Okay. Tell me, tell me that's not going to taste amazing. I already know. Because you're not the boss of me. Look at that. Woo! Let's give a shout out. We need to give a shout out. Woo! Let my neighbors know we got some goodness going on. They know when I'm starting to yell, I got food. Look at that, babe, babe. <laughs> She's doing a little Joey over there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's hot. Um, let's take a picture. I got a little onion. Onions good for dogs? No, they're not gonna have any that has onions in it. All right, let's take a picture real quick and then take a bite of that. How's my hair? Because I'm going to take a picture. This needs to come off because that was kind of useless. I have to figure this out. All right. Okay. Picture time. Last time I shut the stream off because of my phone. You guys, I can't wait to demolish this. Can I help you? <laughs> that was 
<laughs> no. All right, we got a picture. Let's go ahead and try this. Whoo, which one? Ham or bacon? Bacon? I think. Yeah, the ham. No, I can't remember. Oh, so I was supposed to put the onions and stuff with the ham, but I put it with the bacon. Dude, look at this. Great. Oh, hey, it's not me. <laughs> wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I was laughing because this one saw I had food and was like straight up. So, oh, the touch of the syrup. Really good. I just, I just woke up the neighbors. Babe. Oh, that's their mm. So amazing. Dude. The syrup just does it, babe. You hear? Over here. Ma'am, that syrup actually just does it. We're going to give this ham a try. I know it's going to be amazing. Fine, fine dining. Dude. Doritos in the house? Why don't you come up here, Dorito, and like help me entertain this uh, chat room here? I don't know if you uh, can or not, but there you go. Um, we're going to try the ham. I mean, what the F, right? Or what the hell? Look at this. Oh. Dude, look. Look at, are you kidding me? Super easy. Don't make boring food. Get up and uh, just cook, you know? Mm. Wow. That syrup made, did it. I'm telling you. What? I got my two buddies' dogs. My two dogs are all looking at me, want me to drop scraps. I'm dripping uh, because it's it's uh, ham, and I threw it on that blackstone. Wow. Oh, so, oh, what? Daddy, oh, I'm so sorry, little buddy. I've been down there for 30 minutes. You know? <laughs> What's up? daddy -o, what is going on? Dude, did you just see what I freaking made? Yeah, it looks delicious. Dude. I'm getting a little hangry over here, man. Dude, hangry. Here, <laughs> hangry. Look, at this, look at all that food, man. I'm flying to Washington. I'm, I'm, I'm going to fly to Washington and have breakfast with Mojo. <laughs> Dude, what up with the dogs? <laughs> One second. You're going in the house. Get up. Good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Cheers. Yeah, help me help me entertain these guys. <laughs> da, 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 da. Just kidding. Uh, what do you got going on today? Uh, buddy's here finishing the full ring. Not oh, is he gonna finish it up? Oh yeah, there's there's pretty much like five boards left to put in. And then nice. I get the re I, then I get to return eleven boxes. <laughs> How that, did you miscalculate 11 boxes? That was Lowe's miscalculation. They like to add an extra 20% for waste or whatnot. And we literally had like one thing of waste, like one board um, messed up. That's it. When I did my entire house, mm -hmm. I had, I think, literally a box of waste, if that. Not a box of waste, but mm. a box left over. Yeah. No, this is fine. I'll return this, take store credit, and put it towards my new stove. Done. Yep, there you go. You don't you can you can get regular cash back too, right? I don't have the receipt, so I don't know. You should. Did you punch in? Oh, do you have like like you punch in your phone number there? 
Uh, no, and they'd probably say, well, you can use the card that you used to purchase it. The issue is my bank got bought out since I bought this. What? And I have a new, I have a new debit card because a new bank took over. So, and they're all new numbers and everything. I'm so like frustrated about that, but whatever. I'll take store yeah, let credit. Let me put your dogs away. Yeah, you put your dogs away. Well, hey, store, store credit yeah. is good, guys, especially if you have a lot of other stuff oh, to, to get. Come on, Lola, help the house. So, come on, in the house. One second. Mm hmm. We got, I got my buddy's dogs here. Okay. So, my buddy is uh, in eastern Washington. He's uh, moved over here. Mm. And they're in the process of buying a house. Somebody said, check the basement. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm ah, sorry. Ah, shit. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Ah, crap. Buy you books, dress you up, send you to school, teach you how to make a freaking sandwich. <laughs> and you don't Dude. even know how to look at a basement. <laughs> right? Well, I got these dang dogs. Now, see, I just put them away so you can't get them going. Yeah. You want to hear something <laughs> funny? Hold we're on. we're doing a show tonight. Uh, uh -huh. My buddy's band. We're doing a show. And it's over at the lead singer he promotes there. Um, really? Come to find out, I look up the address and everything like that. I built this place 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dude, that's crazy. That, that yeah, way I, you, can, you, can, you can walk in there and say, do you know who I am? They're going to be like, no, you'll be like, I built this motherfucker. Uh, the, the owner will probably, I, I've seen the owner and I kept looking at him every time like at the show because Mm -hmm. He goes to a lot of the shows, and I kept looking at him, and I was trying to figure out where I seen this guy before. And I think that's where I think I built oh, really? this shit, and I think I made him mad. <laughs> mm. Oh, really? It was one of those customers that uh, I, I I I know it, it's it, it's in a shopping center. It's in a center called the Camp, and there's like v, a vegan restaurant. There's a Vietnamese restaurant. There's an Italian restaurant. Mm. There's like a surf shop. There's a, a Vista Paint. But I built every single restaurant in that place. Nice. Oh, and no kidding. Yeah. For some reason, I'm thinking if this is the one, I got to double check and make sure this guy wasn't happy how I put in his stuff, but he had no choice because he yeah. had already built a lot of stuff around it. So I was putting stuff over his marble bar. Mm. And he wasn't happy about it. And if this is the one I think it is, and he was like, Yo, you scratch that that marble, it's gonna be a lot of money, blah blah blah. And I just oh, basically wow. I finally got to the point of telling him, Look, if you don't go away and leave me alone for the rest of this job, I'm not gonna want to hear you complain and I'm gonna leave all your shit mm -hmm. sitting on the other side of where it's supposed to be and let you worry about it. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know what I mean. So I had a hat. Like, I'm kind of known in the industry for being a dick like that. Don't mess with Dorito, Jesus Murphy. Install your kitchen and stuff. That's not the guy. No. I had a guy. I had a guy install. This was when I first started. When I was actually doing demo as well, mm -hmm. and I worked for auctioneers. And this little Calabrese guy. For some uh -huh. reason, Calabrese's don't like Sicilians. Never have. Never will. Um, and, uh, this little Calabrese guy, he used to buy equipment in auction and he used to have me bring it out to him in Palm Springs. I'll be right and back. Guys. I had a truck. The engine blew up on it. When I was going out there, I grenaded the engine it was such a heavy load that it was stupid for me to even take it. So we ended up having to get another truck out there and connect our trailer and load up our equipment in it and get it back out there. So I was like two hours late. Homeboy and I never really got along, like I said, but it right. was money, you know, business. Business is business. Mm -hmm. So I get there. I get out of the truck. We pull. Uh, now, you know where Palm Springs is. You know, Highway 111. You know, Cathedral yeah. City. Um, On Cathedral, in, in that part of Highway 111, there is nowhere to park on the side. And he didn't have a, a loading area in the back. So we used to have to park the truck and trailer in the middle of the street on the, you know, on the, the, the divider. Yeah. Um, and unload everything and wheel it across one street, you know, across one side of the 111 into a shop. Wow. Well, we start unloading it and everything. And the guy waits till we get unloaded to come out and he comes out and he starts yelling at me in the middle of the road. 
<laughs> at me, hollering at me. I got a problem with your word, blah, blah, blah. You were supposed to be here two hours ago. I don't see how you would want me to pay this much money. I looked at him. I said, you know what, bro? It's free. I jumped, for, I jumped down from the truck and my, my workers, one was my partner at that time and another guy, my he was my business partner. He just looked at the other guy. He said, oh, shit, let's get in the truck. And they just they just got in the truck. They knew something was going to happen right there. And then I almost hit him. And uh, he was like, I got a problem with your word and everything like that. And I don't like that, bro. You uh-huh. don't come at me like that because that's one of, with business. That's what I got. You know what I mean? Right. So I looked at him. I said, I'm not going to do this, bro. You know what? Check it out. It's free. I turned around and hopped in my truck and drove away. I, wow. left, I left 260 quart mixers, a pizza oven, sandwich tables, bar boxes, refrigerators, all in the middle of the Highway 111 and drove away. I so, uh, it cost you. 800 bucks, dude. I dropped 800 bucks. I said, you know what? I don't even want to deal with you no more, dude. This is my last run for you, and it's free. Yeah, um, throw it away, bro. Left all his I, uh, shit in the middle of the road. <laughs> I need my kitchen redone. There you go, boozy. So uh, uh-huh. you want to come and do my kitchen? <laughs> you ain't got enough money, bro. You know, no, you do. I do because I'm gonna piss you off, and you're gonna leave it all here for free. No, I'll take your shit. <laughs> <and it's resident. laughs> <laughs> we'll take your shit and just dump it at SeaTac yeah, and like, now it's your problem. See, there's two ways to do this. One, you say it's free and you leave it if it's off the truck. Uh-huh. Two, if it's on the truck, you just go ahead and drive to a storage unit and put it all in the storage unit. And mm-hmm. then I have my wife, who is a notary, file a lien against oh. your property. It's nice. Amazing. And then you got to pay me not only to you get it like back kind of out like of a storage. Whore. Huh? You sound kind of like a whore. Dude, it's bad, dude. Restaurant <laughs> equipment, you, dude. There's oh, so many people. Oh, oh, I know, man. I mean, you got I don't people do that, that are that cheap, dude. dude. Mm. You know, and, and auctioneers, dude. Prime example. I used to work for auctioneers. I, I, okay, I felt real bad. You remember the dinosaurs <laughs> restaurants, Mojo? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I built a lot of those. The oh pizza wow. Place. Um, and there was this one elderly couple. Their grandson. He actually got them to invest in a dinosaur at Moreno Valley Mall. And um, mm. we built that one. And his grandparents put their house up, their retirement, Jeez. everything to build this place, dude. $100,000 alone in wow. restaurant equipment, not including the video <laughs> games, not including all the other stuff. Just the restaurant equipment, $100,000. The, mm. like, the guy stayed open six months, bro, and he couldn't keep the business going. There wasn't enough business. Right. So the auctioneer I worked for that sold him the hundred thousand dollars worth of the new equipment six mm-hmm. months later gave him ten thousand dollars for all that equipment. Gave him ten ten cents on the dollar. Wow. Homeboy took it. We were in there pulling the equipment out. When the last piece of equipment out came out, the auctioneer handed him the check. And homeboy, his grandparents were right there, dude. Homeboy looked at his grandparents, said, I'll see you later, and left with the check, dude. His grandparents started crying, bro. Wow. And that to me, I'll never forget it. That's one of the first jobs I ever did. Mm. And it's still it's still kind of tugging at my heart a little bit. Oh yeah. Face, dude. Fucked up. That's and, so and, screwed up. And this is the thing is if you buy or if you open up a restaurant, you better be ready to support that restaurant. Mm-hmm. Utilities, food, yeah. everything, employees, everything for a minimum of one year. If you mm-hmm. can't do that, well. I've seen two. it done in one. Yeah. They say yeah. two. I've seen it done in one. By yeah. Of yeah. I, I don't believe the two year thing. If you're yeah. if you're going to apply yourself mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. restaurant industry and you got a good location and you got a good menu, one year. You can, bro. Do, you can do you can do it quick. Yeah. One agree. year. Yeah. And if you do a deli ah. coffee place, six yeah. months. Everybody promote. Promote. You gotta be able to promote it too. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what well, killed the brewery up the road for me. Was, dude, their beers were some of the best beers I've ever had. They're true to this style. They're perfect. It was just in mediocre location. The save them was it was by a grocery store. And like husbands were like, oh, my wife's in there buying groceries. So I saw you were here. So I'm grabbing a beer. But man, their their marketing was trash and it just killed them. I built a little they, bar. They lasted a year and a half. Wait. I built it's funny. There's this <laughs> little bar, and I'll tell you a story. You guys probably know who it is. I built this little bar. It started out, it was a smaller bar in San Diego, and they just opened up as a bar. 
and then they got their own brewing stuff and expanded a little bit. Then they expanded to a, a venue. Then they expanded to more brewing machines and expanded the property a lot more. Okay. And uh, now they're a pretty big brewing company. Stone? Uh, their name would be Ballast Point. Okay. Okay. I was thinking them or Stone. It was one or the other. Yeah. All right. I'll be I honest. Built, I, I don't think I've heard of them, but I, I probably touched their stuff. Ballast style. Point, they're pretty darn good. Yeah. I built Ballast Point's flagship brewery bar. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. The one down in San Diego. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, and same housewives of Beverly Hills. I built, uh, I built her two places. Really? I built, I built pump and I built the other one. She's, and they also own a, the, she's, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's, it's a famous place where a lot of people go for breakfast. Damn. Um, huh? <laughs> I no, it starts with a B. I can't remember the name of it. It's old. It's old as hell. I've done a lot of work in that place. Not Bob's Big Boy. No. <laughs> no. You're talking about big restaurant. I can't remember it, dude. I've even done stuff at Pink's. Really? Yeah. That's that's crazy, man. You've been doing um doing that for a while then. Mm -hmm. Over 20 years, dude. Wow. Yeah, wow. Uh, probably a total of 25. I've been for myself for about 19. Okay, that's so, awesome, man. So you run your own business now, which is if smart. that's what you want to call it. Yeah, I'm a rigger, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're I'm an, an outside... independent now, though. I have no employees, no nothing anymore. Right, it's you're just... an outside contractor. Yep. yep. So, yeah, I don't even move stuff anymore. I just, if, if anything, I just take it, <laughs> assemble it, get, I get it out the truck, assemble it, and load it in. Get it into place for the the guys, the the finishers to do everything. All right. Good morning, Bonnie. I don't have uh, oh, your husband here. Bob Evans. Is that what you were trying to think of? No. 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 There's no. I don't think Bob Evans is in California. They're not. No, it, 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 it's on. They're not here. We just have some of their stuff in the grocery store, like mac and it, cheese. It starts and, with a uh, beat. It will pop into my head. Bucky's. Just kidding. No. It will ben pop again. into my head. It's off of, I want to say it, it's off of La Cienega. Really? Are they national? No, it'll pop into my head, dude. Okay. It will. This is it, it'll be an ADD moment. It may not be today. <laughs> it may not be tomorrow. It may not even be next week. It could be next month. We'll be having a conversation completely different. It'll be yeah, six I'll, years I'll, from I'll, now. I'll, like, oh, what's this? What are you talking dude, about? Six known, years ago. I, this I have been known to do that, dude. Oh, yeah. I've done that I, too. Yeah. That's where do you think yeah. squirrel comes from? Yep. It's not because I'm short and furry. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking literally squirrel. No, that's literally that's squirrel. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. Mm -hmm. I'm in the same way. No, TV, that's me. Dude, that is so me. You know that, TV. right? <laughs> this is ADD TV. Look at that. We all, we're all we all ADD, so. Yep. <laughs> I've also done chows. Or chows. Oh, chows restaurant. Isn't that yeah. like the, the Burger King? <laughs> they, I don't think so, JV. <laughs> no, Chow's is like the like the they cook the food in front of you or something. Yeah, it's, that's uh, ch uh the the actor, the Chinese actor guy. Oh, the old, yeah, it's his place. Oh, mm. oh no, kidding. Right. That's what's nice about Southern California, man. You get to when you're in the business, you get to do some cool stuff. Back yeah. in the day, because uh, when I lived in Fullerton. I drove into LA and I, I was, I started what I do now, you know, delivered mm -hmm. to places, uniform company, basically. So I've did Century City, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, all over the coast. Um, 20th Century Fox Studios. I did a lot of <laughs> So you ran the Miracle Mile area. Yeah. I, well, I all, all over the place, <laughs> but, um, did a lot of studios and it was, it was fun. I was a kid, man. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but, uh, you know, now it's like I've done so many places. It really is. I mean, I met a lot of people, and you'd be amazed at literally how many famous people really own restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, there's a lot. Gene Simmons, they own one of the best breweries, Rock and Brew down here. Mm. You know? Wow. And that, that, we, we had something to do with that, but I never is met the guy. Alive? Gene Simmons? Huh? Yeah. He's still, oh yeah. yeah, he's alive and profiting, bro. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy's smart. But um he did his money right. There you go, Gina. Squirrel brain. But yeah, we I built a lot of places. You, you know, you'd be amazed at the people you run into. Mm-hmm. And, and really, like this is a whole thing. Like in you living down in California and growing up and seeing this stuff, these famous people don't care to be seen. Uh-huh. And and if they're out there and you're doing something and you're working around them or something like that, you'd be amazed at how nice 80% of them are just by you not approaching them because they're famous. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Um, there's been many a times where there's been people like, you know, I'm doing work and I turn around, look at them and I, I know there's somebody and I just ignore it, keep on going. Then next thing you know, when you're done with the restaurant, you end up getting mm-hmm. a big bonus. Right, right. You know what I mean? And they come up to you and hand you that bonus. Not the designer that they are paying to do the job that's paying you to do it. No, they come up and they acknowledge you. They show their appreciation. Mm -hmm. They say, you know, and like you can go into the restaurants anytime you want and eat for free. And we're talking high caliber restaurants, you know, like there's a chef. I don't know if you ever heard of him. You're a cook here. You cook, uh, girl, uh, Mojo. You ever heard of a chef named Chef Joaquin? No. He's a German guy with a French Mm. name. (laughs) No. Yeah. You know, I might have. I might have. Yeah, he, because he, of his name, and that, and that he's German or whatever, and he owns guy. he owns the restaurant on top of the building in downtown LA. <laughs> that one that's oh, got on top the, of one of the skyscrapers down it's there. It's got the outer stuff that they always show the videos of of people out there and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He owns that restaurant. He oh, owns crazy. probably about four or five of them. And when you were around, he <laughs> used to own some places called Fast Eddie's. Okay. Okay. This so, guy, one of the greatest want, dudes in the world. One isn't it of the crazy? Greatest guys in the world, dude. Such a pleasure to work for. Literally. And, you know, he looks at people, like if you come up to him and you're like, hey, you're so-and-so. I know, He will look at them and he will like, he'll talk to them in German, dude. He won't oh, even, really? he'll like, like divert them. If you come up to him and treat him like an important person, he doesn't want nothing to do with you, dude. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Hey, Loader Man, you want to come up? Loader, Loader Man. Yeah, so a lot of those buildings down in LA, I've been all the way up to the very top of them. Yeah. This guy's oh, nice. is going to the, like the uh, engineers and all that. That was fun. Yep. When I was an electric. Get... Oh, go ahead. Can you get up there? You literally feel the buildings doing this. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I don't like going up in buildings, man. Dude, yeah, you're no, for 20 minutes going like up in an floors. elevator. Trust me, I know. Top buildings. Uh, when I was a, a youngster, when one of my first jobs, I worked for an electrical company called Morrow Meadows, and I used to uh, run to all the jobs and drop the materials. And nice. state office building, uh, Ronald Reagan State Office Building in downtown LA. Mm-hmm. That was this was, I was 18, so this was. 30 years ago? Yeah. You know, and they were doing a lot of building on that. And that was when the top of it wasn't complete. Really? And they, everybody knew I was scared of heights, dude. And What year was that? 80s? Mm. Late 80s, early 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you the exact year. But anyways, homeboy thought it'd be cute. To tell me to go drop some materials, but literally a sack of materials up at the top and put me in a service elevator. Really? <laughs> yep. No, um, and hey, Chadio, if you're not understanding what he's saying, a service elevator? Yeah, I know. I mean, are yeah. you talking about the ones on new construction? Or- yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I thought he was talking about. No, thank you. Yeah. All the way and up the side of the You building. got nothing but like you can see all around you and down mm-hmm. and everything. You're at like way the hell up there. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. They go up real smooth and that side goes up real smooth. But the barrier part. Yeah. All the mm-hmm. way up, dude. And that yep. is scary, bro. But. That is scary. And and I, when I came back down, homeboy said to me, are you scared of heights anymore? I told him, <laughs> F you, blah, 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 explicit, explicit, that messed up. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> it's funny. So my wife what? said that she would get up this morning if I made her crispy bacon, right, mm-hmm. and French toast. So I'm going to make her crispy bacon. There you go. French toast. <laughs> well, Mojo. Yes, sir. What is that? Is that- oh. Is that from <laughs> I'm going to do this real quick on your I- channel. Dude, that's funny. You know what? Let's do it together, man. I got it hey. over here. You got one too? Yeah. All right, here. Give me one second. Hold up. Don't idea. open them up yet. I already Don't know I've got yet. something in there that I'm going to like. Come over here, babe. Look. All right. So I'm going to do this with you guys. Let's see if I can do this. All right. I'm going to take. How do I do this? I do have to be kind of quick because we got to yeah. go to the grocery store. Do you? All right. Yeah. All right. Just go ahead and do it. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I was gonna try to blow you guys up, but mm. it's like I'm not. I don't want to deal with it. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Look. Yeah, I got a green again. envelope, Chad. Oh, you got a pink one. I asked for the pink one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh Mojo uh, had too many Easter cards you didn't send out this year, huh? Yeah. Easter there card. Green and pink. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh. Look Enjoy at this. Look for at, sticker. Hey, Dorito. Look at Chadio. He's going to be in heaven. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, you got some. <laughs> I got a lot. Grilling and chilling with no dope. You oh will be slapped God. upon the, the wall of head. The sticker wall of fame? Yeah. That's your second batch of uh, coupons, isn't it? Mine? Dorito? Oh, there you go, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And and they will still take them even when that, that date expires, you guys. Dude, so they're gonna be done, dude. Trust me. You yeah. are you, you you discovered the avenue to my heart, Mojo. Yeah. <laughs> and I have dude. I have a Sonic literally a two minute drive. Just right up the road. Do you uh, really? Yeah. I'll have yeah. to get you set something. Nice. <sighs> dude. Har. Ah. Not a not a bad sticker, huh? For the first time. No, I like it. I, I'll have to talk to you off air about where you went through. Do because... you want the Celtic cross mojo? Do I want that? Why would I? I mean. Oh, you, okay. You don't have to get. I was just going to send it to you, but no, you don't have to. Oh, well, okay. I mean, if you're going to send me something, dude, mm-hmm. you're going on my uh, wall of stuff. Well, I, I just asked I you, you. I just asked you if you wanted something, and you said, "Do I want this?" So, you know, let me just then, put well, it back I'm, in the box. You know how last just, night? Let me just put it back in the box, won't you? No, send it to me. I want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want some of your stuff, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I expect that to be Hold in on. my uh, box by uh, in four days. Dude. Oh, do I get to choose? Or are they the same? They're the oh, same. One's a cross. One's that's a cross, dude. They're the same. Yeah, it's a cross with a dragon around it. Are you kidding me? No. Dude, Look. that is badass. Look. Oop. Wait, hold that on. That is wrong. awesome. You can see the dude. That is so cool. Dude, you have to. You have to. That that'll go right next to Chadio's $90 freaking beer tap. You know what? Bite I almost. <laughs> I just want to tell you, Chadio, and you better feel thankful that yeah. I didn't do it. Squirrel told me about that. <laughs> Dude, I, I, 90, I, I $90 still feel, I now, still feel minute, sick. He told no, me what you do. He told me with the stuff that I was sending to you. Yeah. He says what you do is you go get the blue envelope. Yeah. You mm-hmm. send that to Chadio with in you, you with postage on or payment on postage on pickup. Mm-hmm. You know the how much that would have red. probably cost you, Chadio? I know. It was an you accident. Know. And it wasn't even my fault because I, <laughs> I scanned the envelope to... and that's the price it gave me. So I came this, close, I came this <laughs> close to doing it to you. That's okay. I mean, oh, something I... it was, it didn't, I don't know. I, there's you a know QR what code on an actual envelope. I scanned it and gave me that $5 and change. I said, okay, that seems about right. And then he, he received it. And ooh, that's, oh, I love that. What is it? Oh, a lighthouse. Oh, dude. No, it's a it's a tower. Sweet. Okay, that's, medieval tower. That's hey, awesome. Can you can you get 
the the specs on um say like your local lighthouses and stuff uh no i don't know i guess Dude, if you fly a drone around check yeah. into it no i mean you oh, i guarantee you you can get the specs dude you know how cool that would be you see what that is jadia on the top uh-huh i can't tell it's a gnome it's an, an a a it's an a and m gnome there you go nice Come again heck yeah dude that's pretty sweet i did some videos of some stuff that i've done I'll get him nice. Dude, hook me up with that cross, dude. That cross is badass, dude. Well, but you, 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 you hesitated. Don't butt, don't butt me. But, but you hesitated, bro. Well, that's because that's the polite morning, thing to do. It's like, you're going to send me something? Oh, come <laughs> on, Mojo. That's, just... you know, that's the polite that's thing to am. do. He says to Dorito. <laughs> that's the polite thing to do. He I says to know. Dorito. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't be so humble. Uh, loader man, did I send did I send loader man a sticker? I don't know. Where loader man? I want to say I thought I did. Cuz he's down there by you. Isn't loader man down there by you? He's Florida. Yeah, okay. Well, same thing. It's down there. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go Southern with side of the thing. continent. All of it's the same. It's all yeah, the same. Right? You ever been to Florida? Water, it's the same. No. You ever been to Florida, uh, Dorito? Nope. Dude, the beaches are pretty cool, man. Yeah. They, especially uh, especially, especially the at three in the morning. Amazing. You can walk world. out in that water <laughs> bar. Mm -hmm. Yep. I heard that the waves from the Atlantic side aren't like they are from the Pacific side. No, they're not. Have you been to the West Coast there, uh, <laughs> Chadio? Yep. So, oh, you've been LA, to the LA, okay. San Diego, Seattle. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Alaska. Uh, what was it? Alaska? Alaska. <laughs> north of you. <laughs> I almost moved to Alaska on one of my adventures. They're in Hawaii. Oh, wow. I'm glad. It, the, the whole reason I didn't was because it would be harder to get back than it would in yeah. any other state. Especially Hawaii. Could you imagine the swim? Jeez, yeah. Good luck. Right? You get a mile out, you're like, nope, screw this. That's I'm a, going back. That's a long <laughs> flight, bro. Did that so every summer for a while <coughs> when we were kids. I got a, I had an uncle that lived out there. I think it's, yeah. he still does, but he's it's like happy. I want to say it's like seven and a half, eight hours from Denver. Oh, to Hawaii? Yeah. We used to go to Oahu and stay at Oahu for two weeks and then go to Maui and stay for like two weeks to a month every summer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't back when it wasn't expensive. Mm hmm. I went all the way up until I was almost, until I think it was 15. And then mm. my parents said, the next year we, you go, you have to pay for your plane fare if you want to go. And you never went back. I never went again. <laughs> uh, that was when I had the opportunity to move out there because the next year I didn't uh, go out there. And then my my step uncle, my, he offered to let me move out there and live with them and go to work for them as long as I went to school. And all this different stuff. So, and he owned a carpet uh, carpet company. <coughs> oh, no, I, I, he lived in Lanai on Maui. A nice Isn't place. Isn't she awesome? Huh? She's cleaning my mess up. Awesome place, but definitely couldn't live there because you're stuck. Oh, Maui. Any island? They're too. They're yeah. not big enough. Damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an island. There's water yeah. all around it. <laughs> I would I would go stir crazy living there. Yeah. So uh Island I've fever. Been, I've been to an island out towards your way. Cat Catalina Island. Catalina wine fast. Hi, Blue Farm. <laughs> Dude, I gotta uh, I gotta get sure. out of here. All right. All right. I gotta go grocery shop and then I'll come back if anybody's live. Mm -hmm. I'll be uh, live yeah. in about two hours, but beer and cigars. Oop. Nice. Damn it. Yeah. I got I gotta detail detail her up. Uh, it's doing mm. this to me. I hate this dude. When it's freezing up. Well, somebody's turning on the TV that connects to the you know mm -hmm. Wi Fi. Yeah. Um my someone in the house. Yeah, so, uh, I gotta detail that thing because it's got another show tonight and tomorrow night. Yes. Hey, yeah. Dorito. What's up? 
on your way to the grocery store, stop mm -hmm. to the po stop at the post post office and send me that cross. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on here. Don't don't do okay. it. Don't be mean. <laughs> oh, <Joe. laughs> oh, that's, dude, that is, that's, is that a claw? I time for the, oh wait. Is that a claw? Look yeah. at that thing, dude. That's awesome. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, nice. That's so cool. Yeah. This one, I sanded nice. this one. I'll check this out, bro. You can blow me up again one more time. That's all been sanded oh. and everything. Oh, wow. It's ready to paint. Man, that thing is. I so just got to clean one little spot underneath right here. Holy smokes. What's That's up? so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Bailey. What are you Dude, doing, buddy? Check this out, Mojo. Paint rags, all evenly cut, though. Okay. What is, what is it? Oh, Ten paint. Paint mm -hmm. and cleaning rags. Okay. Evenly yeah. cut and everything like that. They're not the ones that they just rip them up, you know? Yeah. They're evenly cut. You know how much a bag of that was? This this little bag. So are $20. They, what kind of cloth is it? Is it is it just a what kind of like cloth? Like a t-shirt cloth, dude. Okay. It's cotton. Mm. Oh, so it's just cotton rags, is all it is. Yeah. Ten of them. Uh-huh. At Lowe's. Guess how yeah. much? 40. Uh Lowe's is it's probably 10 bucks. Or probably eight ninety nine, dude. Yeah. For ten mm. cloth rags, dude. Yeah, look at Terry hey. cloth ones. Terry cloth. It was like twelve bucks for ten. Look at this. Mm. Let's see if I have some in here. I got a couple. It was like, see these? Same same material. These are cotton, mm -hmm. right? I got almost a bale of them for free. Yeah, that's because you work for a uniform company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you hey, I got an idea. You want to cross? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to cross? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I want you to spend another ninety dollars in shipping and send me down a box of rags. <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, dude. Seriously, if I could, I don't know what the shipping cost would be on those, but uh, they throw away so many towels. It's unreal. Yeah, Jeez. no, I'm good, man. I got, I, I just had to grab those for the printer because I wanted cloth ones. Normally, I got T-shirts. I just shred those up, dude. I got. Yeah, well, I have a closet one side full of T-shirts. I don't throw away my T-shirts. Oh, really? Yeah, I literally got ones that have holes in them, dude. They're the most comfortable shirts in the world. But then gradually everything's turned to rags. Right. I've always had rags and towels my entire life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I mean, there, there you go. One of my old older favorite shirts, and you can barely see it. it, it remember those shirts? Yes. Remember No Fear shirts? Yeah. That's, That's an old near, No Fear shirt, dude. My. Yeah, like that's awesome. <laughs> that's an old, it, it's just been that's shredded a, up. A rag. Yeah. It's a rag. Yeah, it's a rag. Yeah. You know, I was just working on something and I went to the house and grabbed it, pulled it off the, the rack, and just went <laughs> and said, Okay, I need this. So. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta go, man. All right. Hey, good to see you, Dorito. Have All a right, good day, yep. man. I'll see you later, bro. Good to see you. You know, the exits are really, really cool, and I could just say goodbye right now. But, you know, there was a boy in my class who had balls made of brass. He rubbed them together, made bad weather, and lightning shot out of his ass. <laughs> there he goes. Yep. All right. I, I didn't even listen because I know he was just going to go. Yep. I will head up to help my friend with the last bit of the flooring and install the toilet. Dude, awesome, man. Hey, oh. so the, your other toilet, was it a cheaper toilet, the old one? Well, the old one, I, the old one. I don't even know how old it was. It came with the house. <laughs> yeah, so it was a it, probably a cheap toilet, right? Yeah, <laughs> dude, nothing is better than having an amazing throne, man. Yeah, you know, and one one on my main level is so nice. <laughs> yep, I'm telling yeah. you, that uh, I do that automatically, man. When I bought yeah. the last few houses that I've had, mm -hmm. uh, change that toilet right away. Yeah. All righty. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, you're going to take off? Yeah. Hey, have a good day, yeah. man. Thanks you for stopping too. in. Of course. Hanging out. Everybody in the chat out there, you know? Mm-hmm. Peace. Are you talking? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Are you kidding me? Look at who just... the hell is in the house. <laughs> I just want to. Are you I, kidding I, me? I, I missed. I, I... <sighs> 
<laughs> Bye, guys. It, it takes him a while to, to. Oh, he took off. Are you kidding yeah. me? He took off on you. Sty, what is going on, man? Are you talking? Are you yeah. there? Okay. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You know no, what I'm it's my right now? it's 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 my you it's my YouTube day off. And oh, I saw a Dorito, I saw a Dorito and Chadio up here, and I thought they all took off. Look at what I made my wife. Okay. There's some goodness. So you uh, you have a YouTube day off, huh? Yeah, yeah. I take yeah. I take two two a week. But what do I do during my YouTube days off? I come on YouTube. That, <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> I tell you what, though, man. I've been watching you. I've been watching you, and uh -huh. oh god, that French toast sandwiches kill me. Oh, oh, it was oh. it was not bad, man. I was like, you know, and you know how I wanted to make it. So when they put it in a pan and they, you know, put all the egg batter down there and you dip it and dip it and then you just lay your bread on top of it, right? Then you flip it and then you uh -huh. fold that egg. In. And you fold the egg over the edges into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen like, that done too. And I was like, you know what? That's too much work, man. It's early. Yeah, that, that is. And, <laughs> and, it's, and it's a little tricky, you know? Yeah, about it is. about one it's, one out of three of them you screw up and they don't look so nice, you know. Yeah, but, Alexa, send an announcement. <laughs> Babe, your breakfast is ready. <laughs> no, oh, I get it, I get it. I was married for thirty eight years, so you know, oh, I know, yeah. I know the routine. I know, you oh, know. This, well, this girl is pretty laid back, Sty. She's, yeah, she's pretty you're... chill. Um, she's almost too laid back. Uh huh. She's, uh, she's put up with my crap for gosh, we've been together. I don't know, fifteen years or so. We've been oh, together yeah. for a little bit. So. Oh yeah, yeah. In oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, in <laughs> the beginning. I told you the stories of my exes. You know. Uh huh. In the beginning, she got the the she got it from me, where I was just like, did not like women. Uh huh. But then yeah. she told me, "I'll never come back if you if you don't change your ways." Yeah. Like, <gasps> oh 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah. So she. The light. Uh, the light just came on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. I, I, you know, she's just a good old gal. She's uh, just. That's she's great. Got a little That's southern great. in her, and uh, here she comes. There she comes. Have you know. ever met her? No, I have not. You I have not. Wrong side for just one second. Now you got to be careful. I like to steal guys, ladies. Oh, you know. well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. You got to say hi to Sty. Oh, she's situated. You know how women are and different people. If they go on camera, you know, they're like, well, like, how's my whoa, hair? Whoa, 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 is my wait, hair okay? Yeah. yeah. Here she oh, is. This is my girl yeah. Right here. Yes. She's, Wonderful! Uh, she's, Great to meet you. Nice this is this you. is Sty, so he's a pretty amazing guy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> See, <laughs> enjoy, yeah. enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Uh, she like she's a uh, uh, camera shy big time. She don't. She just gives a little wave and leaves. <laughs> See that my ex wife. Um, oh, she she stood out in the crowd. You know, if we were with a group of people and stuff. Yeah, she was. She was outgoing enough, you know. She right, stood right. out. Boy, if camera come around, it's get that camera away from me, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, my YouTube days, she would have never survived this. No. Oh yeah. She would have. She would have been hiding in the corner somewhere every time the camera come on. Yeah, and I kept. In fact, the last time I actually met up with her i told her i said man it's too bad you didn't stay with me i said you'd be a top villain on my channel she goes oh you and that damn channel I, she says i am so glad i'm gone yeah oh oh and, i bet man that, that's and, so funny and i she was she's the type that um 
the world can think the world of her and she thinks so little of herself, you know, where yeah. no, I'm not that. I'm not that, you know, and and she was, she was, you know, she could be pretty personable and fun and, and, but boy, she didn't want to be put on stage in any way whatsoever. Yeah. See this one here, she is straight up. She's not really sociable. Uh -huh. but once you get to know her and she knows somebody, then she comes out. Right. Right. So she's right. pretty much just, she's quiet. People like, right. I don't That's... think she likes me. Yeah, because she, she, she like, seems pretty selective. <laughs> like she's, <Yeah. laughs> like she's still weighing me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. but gal, but gals like that keep people thinking, you know. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. That's yeah. But uh, uh, she, had hey, a, I, she had a rough, rough upbringing, so she, she's you know, she's been through a yeah. little bit. Yeah, like a lot of us. I, I, I look, I look at people and. You know their histories and things they've been through, and and they start reminiscing about how rough life was to get them to where they are. And I tell them, "Hey, it's a good time to just quit thinking about that and think about how good it is right now and what's ahead of you." That, you know, yeah, yeah. You got there's there's nasty things in life that are gonna you're gonna get stuck with. You just you may not. <laughs> May not want to deal with it, but it's going to hit you anyway. Yeah, isn't that the truth, though? I mean, yeah, you've been around the corner a few times. Yeah, I yeah I I have I yeah I the block I live on isn't square anymore. It's round because I've been around it so many times. I wore right. the corners off. Yeah, the, yeah they're going to have to redo the concrete and everything because it's <laughs> it just wore it out. <laughs> the see, and that's one thing I I said many times on my channel is that i'm unusual that way and i hear folks saying you know it's like dorito saying that he's been you know fitting up these restaurants for over 20 years right right and so many people and it's so common it's it's just the norm they mm -hmm. get themselves in some kind of niche that they really enjoy doing and that that's going to be my career that's going to be my work right. and i first half of my life it was terrible that my ex-wife she actually said that's one reason why she hitched up with me is because i was so adventurous i lived a life with like i'm sitting in my living room with the door wide open watching any opportunity that walks by and if i see something i didn't do i ran out and grabbed it and yeah, and there was one time she damn near divorced me early in the marriage because I had myself I I had myself a good operation going. I was making six figures a year. Yeah, I saw an opportunity for a, a job that I'd never done before, and I wanted to try that out. Yep. The only problem was it only paid forty eight thousand dollars a year instead of one hundred and fifty six thousand a year. Right, right. And when she found out that I put in my resignation and took this forty forty eight thousand dollar a year job, so she, yeah, it wasn't pretty around home for a while. Yeah, <laughs> but and, were you but happy? I that were was you? it. Is I yeah. was happy as a lark. I mean. Because I got to experience something that I would have never experienced in it uh, otherwise, you know. And yeah. I've been all over the board. I had I actually had someone challenge me in my channel, and they said everything he has told you in the last five years on his channel is all BS. He'd have to be a hundred and fifty years old right now to have done the things he's done in his life. Well, that pissed me off so bad that I sat with my boy and we wrote out everything I've done chronologically from the time I turned 16. Got it all put out in a document presentation and I got a hold of that character and I said, get up on my live stream and I popped that thing up. And I showed him, I said, and every one of those things challenge any one of those things and we footnoted the whole 
chronological right. history. And I can put you on to the employer. I can put you on to co-workers. I can put you on to employees. It's all confirmable. I wow. said, so you, and I guarantee you, I might look it, but I am not 150 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, and a lot of times I did, I'd have three, two or three different actual non-related businesses going at one time, you know. Mm -hmm. Have my have my fingers in too many things at a time. And oh yeah, you know, as you get older, it's not about the money. I mean, you need to survive and stuff. But I've right. come to the point of like, I don't care. I don't. I don't care yeah. about money. I don't care about stuff. You know, I don't care about right. fancy cars. Um, you know, and I've I've been very for fortunate in my life that I've never been unemployed and I've worked my entire life. I yeah. can count on one hand all the jobs I've done. I've sure. pretty much been at like this job I'm at now, 25 years. Yeah. And before that was like eight years, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I'm pretty fortunate and very, very thankful. But it's the path I chose in life, you know. I could have went right. the other path, which you right. know, I, I grew up pretty rough. I told That's you how it. I was it's... how I was born, you know, right? Uh, Don't I like <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like being the middle man, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you really shocked me when you when you well <laughs> when you <laughs> when you pop that comment up the I right away I thought, oh this guy's a hoot. This guy's a hoot. <laughs> well, you know, I, I got to know where this is coming from. Where is this going? And when you spilled your guts on how, why you, why it, why it was stated that way, yeah. I'm going, yes, yes. That, <laughs> the, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. The, uh, it's, it's pretty funny because all the way up until I was, I want to say 12 years old, 13 years old, is when I was like, you know, it just, because my whole life, your whole life, this is the way it is, right? Right. So you don't think of anything of it. This just is how it right. is. My sisters yeah. are darker. I'm white. That's just the way yep. it is. That's and just then the way it you is. You go, wait a minute. I know I have a different dad. But let's <laughs> put these little pieces of this puzzle together here for a second. And, uh, <laughs> did I tell you how I found him? I didn't tell you that part, did I? No, no. So I called social social security up and I said, I know you can't give me information. But right. here's here's the prisons he's you know been in, and this is his name. That's all I know. Uh -huh. I just you know I'm I'm hunting him down. Yeah. And she goes, here's a cemetery, and that's it. And she gave me a cemetery. Believe it or not, Social Security gave me the cemetery where my dad was. So I went and I ordered the death certificate. There was an address on there, and sure. then I I sent a, a letter to that address. Well. My uh, brother's mom lived in that house now because it was their grandma's house. Oh, wow. Right? So they still were around. And then um, next thing I know, I meet my brother at the airport and all kinds of stuff. And got to meet a grandma before she passed and an uncle and all that stuff. Wow. wow. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's, yeah, a, it's yeah, a pretty crazy yeah. story. Yeah. But, you know, that's so cool, though. I mean, you find out. That's like I boy, I ponied up a lot of money to have my family heritage, mm -hmm. the whole family tree done as far back as they could go, you know. Yeah. And and they actually, it it took a lot, but they got they tracked everybody back into the fourteen hundreds. So did they? So yeah. So it was pretty cool. Except I got to reading in there, and I'm going, oh my god. <laughs> here we thought my grandfather was an only child oh hell no oh no he had no. six six brothers and sisters yep and all of them lived in oregon or washington state oh no kidding up here yeah I and one of them you, i guarantee of, you i've come across your relatives Pro Everybody. probably probably because they, guarantee the the um 
One of them actually, now this is back years ago, back in the 30s, 40s, 50s. He was an apple baron. He had a huge orchard. Oh, wow. And um, I guess, I guess he his he had two children, but they were estranged. They just didn't want nothing to do with the mm-hmm. family business. I guess he was an ornery bugger or something, and they mm-hmm. just didn't want to carry on the family business. But he ended up being a huge cash cow for them. I'm going now. Why in the heck didn't Grandpa introduce me to this bunch? You know, <laughs> I mean, look at all the. Yeah. I mean. Boy, there's some ching on that side of the family. Yep. And, but we didn't even know they existed. And right. we didn't find out they even existed until 2006. Wow. So, so was it a was it a second family? Second second family on his part? Like no. he had he was married twice and then this other part no. he had okay. No. No, no it, kidding. You just my, didn't my great knew. My great grandfather. Well, okay. Now wait a minute. Yes, I have to say yes to it. Yeah. Because my great grandfather, my grandfather, yeah, they'd be half. They, they'd be half. You know, stepchildren, yeah. in yep. a sense, because different mothers. Yep. The six siblings of his were all with one gal, but he was the lone standout. My great grandfather had a thing going on with a Native American woman here in over in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. The problem was is at that time he was a colonel in the second U U S cavalry, and at that time it was military law. You could not fraternize with natives. Oh wow! He would have been decommissioned and and court martialed that they caught him. <laughs> they well, they ended up they ended up having grandpa. So my great grandfather convinced this gal. Her name was Sarah Peters. Convinced her from Iowa to marry him. Right as this gal, native gal, was having the kid. Mm-hmm. And they put Sarah Peters on as the mother on the birth certificate. Well, they were supposed to anyway. The doctor said, yeah, it's all taken care of. They'll never know that it was this native girl's kid. Instead, he put on there for the mother's name, (laughs) (laughs) non-white. Yep. So his mother's name was never on his birth certificate. His father's was, but not his mother's. And That birth certificate is locked away at Fort Snelling in Minneapolis, Minnesota, in their archives. We got to actually see it. um, So technically, we're part of the what they call the Lake Lake Malax Band of Lake Superior Chippewa. Yeah, and and my grandfather owned six thousand acres on Lake Malax, and the tribe wanted that land back. So they were. They came to us and asked us to be co-parties in a lawsuit against the federal government and the state of Minnesota to get their land back. Oh wow! And we told them we'll do that if you give us membership cards to the tribe, because there's benefits. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah. Boy, there's there's some awesome benefits. If a person, Native Americans, that sit on the reservation and whine about poverty. I get so angry with them. Now, I've helped. I That's one thing I could pat myself on the back for. I've literally helped hundreds of Native Americans become doctors, lawyers, teachers. Wow. It's there for them. Mm-hmm. They just oh, yeah. don't know. They just don't know it's there. Yep. And so we wanted those tribal cards, you know, so that we could tap into Bureau of Indian Affairs benefits. They said, no, we won't do it. I said, that's 6,000 acres you're trying to get back from the federal government is only worth about $68 million. And you won't give me it. You you won't even recognize who my grandmother was? You know? And they said, no. They said, you're, 
as far as we're concerned, you're just you've been white too long. <laughs> <laughs> did they did they pretty much say that? Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The a lot of a lot of Native American tribes are not shy about um no, no, uh, no. <laughs> about that about that division. You know, yeah. we'll only go so far. You know, but. And I, I worked for Native American tribes for 27 years. I was a chief financial officer for two oh, wow. major Native American tribes. I I was a grant writer for tribes. I I've written a little over 18 million dollars in on reservation grants for these two tribes that we have up here. And yeah, I I during that part of my career, that 27 years. The tribes, it drove them nuts because I also had two other businesses going. Plus, I worked 60, 70 hours a week as their chief financial officer at their reservations, operating their wow. casinos. <laughs> and and yeah. But that was big money. I mean, I made big money. And, and it was so interesting. I traveled all over the country. I mean, I was in Washington, D.C. monthly. Every month I was in D.C., Every congressman, every senator, they'd see me coming and they'd all run to their offices, lock the door and tell their aides, tell them I ain't here. <laughs> yeah. That son of a bitch, he's here to get some money for that tribe he's working for again. Yeah. That's funny. And, that and was I always, fun though, wasn't it? It, it was a blast. I loved yeah, it. Was a good time. And I the politicians, I loved the fact they were scared of me, you know? I loved it. They so, in those uh, days I didn't have the big old beard and Right, like I was all cleaned up, and yeah, I wore a suit, scary. carried the briefcase. And, but, scary looking. Here he comes. Yeah, yeah, here he comes. <laughs> yeah, because that's all. Bitch ain't leaving until he gets what he wants, you know. Yeah. And and if he doesn't get what he wants, he's going to be down at the press club tonight, at the bar, letting the other side of the yeah. aisle know how much of an asshole I was to him, you know, and. <laughs> Yeah, I, I miss those days. I, I watch our politics today, and I go, oh, I'm glad I'm not on the Hill anymore. Yeah. Um, those were the days back then. And uh, society never realized it. But in the all of the 90s and the first, I'd say, 10 years until 2000, 2010, you go to D.C., you if you get somebody that'll get you in the door to the press club, which is nothing but a big ass bar, that's all. It yeah. Is. Yep. You get in there, and what do you see? You see all the Democrats and Republicans doing <laughs> doing shots and beer. Yep. Doing karaoke up on the stage and dancing and stripping, having their aides telling them, "No, you can't do that. It's too public." They're all not and not a single political argument in that place. They're all just yeah. a bunch of happy drunks. Yeah. And no, no, not anymore. Yeah. No, <laughs> I I talked to a fellow that had been to the press club about two months ago, and he said, It's like your corner hometown pub in a bigger town where you only got three bar or you know three old bar hag sitting there and one drunk at the end of the bar. That's what the press club looks like now. That yeah. Right. That, no. That there's none of that co mingling and and after after the lights go out friendliness, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. doesn't exist there anymore. No. The, but I love I love that work. I the Native Americans um, have so much potential. Yeah. If they've got somebody to help them out, basically help them out, just just yeah. show them the path, and that's what I did. I the first reservation I signed on to had just gone through a huge embezzlement. Oh wow! And and I took over their housing authority for them. They had 135 homes that they rented out to low income Native Americans, and nobody was paying rent. They weren't making them pay the rent. They were, wow. But all the houses were trashed and nasty. Mm -hmm. And they hired me and said, come on in. <coughs> Our last 
housing director embezzled a ton of money out of the place, took all the rent money and everything. I got in there, wrote the grants. I got about $3.8 million in grants to go in and renovate every single home they had and re-landscape every piece of property. And I weeded out all of the non-hackers, put fresh new tenants in the houses, and told them, guess what? You don't get, oh, you miss this month's rent, we'll give you another month. And yeah. I, No, you miss this month's rent by the end of the month, guess what? I'm yeah. going to be filing and you're getting evicted and out you go. Well, once we got the rules set, that community up there now is beautiful. You go in there, every home looks awesome. The yards are no more junk cars anywhere. Wow. I, uh, and I, they said, you'll never get those junk cars off the res. I said, you want to bet? I found a Native American guy that ran a junkyard and had a big car crusher. And I told him, I said, hey, can you get that car crusher onto the reservation I'm at? And he goes, I could. Why? I said, I did a car count. I went through the whole res and every house that I'm responsible for, any car that has that's not currently registered and operable can be moved has a big red X painted on the hood or the trunk. And you oh, can wow. come on the reservation and every car with a red X on it is yours. You come and crush them. Oh, that guy was there in about two days. And How many cars? 315. Are you serious? Yep. 300 cars. That is insane. All spread out over what we yeah. figured was about 80 pieces of property. Wow. We had one piece of property, had 27 cars alone on it. That's nuts. Um, and it's just like a city lot. And it had 27 cars. Uh, you couldn't see the yard. It was just mm -hmm. this big parking lot and a house in the middle. And now you go there and it's a beautiful groomed lawn with flower beds. All done by the same guy that had all them cars in there. Oh, no kidding. Because, because what I did was, is the car crusher, he paid me, the housing authority. He paid us. At that time, it was $100 a car. Wow. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> so I so show he paid up. you a hundred dollars a car. Yeah. Wow. He went. He went. Hauled him to his crusher. Crushed him. Paid us a hundred dollars scrap for the car. Wow. So I had a car count on every piece of property. So I know how many cars disappeared. When I went to that guy's property, and he's madder than sin. He's standing at his door with a shotgun. I'm going to shoot you. You sob. You come and you took all my cars and on and on. And I said, here's what's going to happen. I said, I'm sending the crew in here. We're going to grade your whole piece of property here. We're going to put fresh sod down, and you're going to maintain that son of a bitch like it's the queen's backyard, <laughs> or I'm throwing your ass out on the street. And he goes, I don't even own a lawnmower, and I'm not, I'm not buying shit to take care of your shit. And I walked up to him, and I said, I said, you can afford to buy a lot more. And he goes, I ain't got no money. And I handed him a check for $2,700. And I said, don't tell me you don't have any damn money. That's what you get for your old cars. You should see that guy's yard today. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean. Oh, no kidding. Wow. But what, <laughs> what it did was it jump-started. That guy, being the worst in our whole housing developments, Totally changed his ways, has the most beautiful yard. The guy next to him actually told me, he said, son of a bitch, I hate it. I got to go out there and mow every stinking week. I got to, <laughs> now the wife's got three flower gardens in. And and I said, well, what's the problem with that? He says, that's that neighbor of mine. He says, God, he made our places look like shit. We got to, everybody's got to. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's what it was, is that it. You know, it was contagious, and now so cool. And, and when I left there and became the tribe's chief financial officer, embezzlement in their housing authority, and while I'm their executive director there, the whole financial team for the tribe itself embezzled 1.7 million dollars. Oh no, and, kidding! 
Wow. And they, they bankrupted the tribe and they, they came to me and they said, we know you can fix it. We know you can fix it. And I said, Oh, I know I can fix it too. The key word is, do you want to? No, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want nothing to do with that mess. And they said, yeah, but you already work for us. So it's really not your choice. We're going to upgrade your position. I said, oh, did they have you? Yeah. I, I thought they were asking me to apply for it or something. Yeah. Uh, That's uh, no. funny. But, but it, it, it was great to see a tribe that was so troubled and has, I mean, literally, I could tell stories about that tribe and its troubles, but where it is today, mm -hmm. I, I could tell 150 stories and not even touch, touch the history of that tribe in a 30 year period. But, right. But we, it's total, we totally have, different. we have like literally, you know, reservations all over the place where we're at. And oh, yeah. It's, it's kind oh, of yeah. a similar thing, you know? And yep. It, and it doesn't have to be, you know? But Right, right. That's um, that neck of the woods up there, the Chehalis. Chehalis? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah they, um, they tried for like five years to contract me to get me out there. Oh, no and, kidding. Yeah. So I almost ended up in your neck of the woods up there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's about you, forty minute drive, I think. No, it's yeah, about forty five minutes. I'd probably get there. Yeah, I I used to do independent contracting and did financial troubleshooting, and I do like workshops for different tribes mm -hmm. that had internal financial issues and. And I traveled all over the country to almost every reservation and did work for it, almost all of them. The, um, yeah, some of them, it was just, I mean, I'd get done three days with the tribe, train their staff, and then they come back and say, nah, you know, really, we're just going to leave it the way it is. And I go, yeah, God, you that's 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 the biggest issue you'd like to waste money <laughs> yeah it wasn't wasn't cheap wasn't cheap to get me here to help you out now you're not gonna do anything okay well well right and then but then you got you they got that training you know yeah yeah the but, it, it's it's a shame they got it but don't apply it you know yeah that's too bad but, so um, back to, you know, I was telling you about your, your grandfather, right? Yeah. So come to find, the reason I brought that up was because back in the day, my grandfather did that. He had a second family that nobody knew about. Oh, yeah. So I, I, uh, I do genealogy. Oh, yeah. And I've, uh, and that's how on my father, my dad's side, I got to see a lot of stuff. I sure. drove. From Washington State to New York, and and camped out at a lot of cemeteries. Oh wow! Genealogy. My seventh great grandmother in in Upper New York, I left a plaque up there for you know for her, and uh, it's it was a kick of the pants when I found out on my dad's side, and they did not like to want to talk about it at all. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you it. Know, Isn't that <laughs> that makes it tough when when it's that black sheep thing going on. Oh, yeah. Right? And, and, and they just and they don't want to, they just don't, they, they know that they, they, you know, there's a lot of information that you could have, but they just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Well, I found out a lot of information and uh, there was a, uh, a letter written from him that they really wanted, you know, to give me. And I just, they, they just couldn't give it up yet because of people that are alive right now, you know, mm -hmm. but, uh, I really wanted that letter cause it would have, it would have been funny, but, yes. uh, <laughs> it's interesting stuff. It brings out a lot of stuff, man. And, and it's, it's, I, I, with my family here, thinking that my grandfather was an only child, Mm -hmm. Well, with my father, 
it was him and adopt and an adopted sister. Well, we didn't find out until my pop passed away that his adopted sister wasn't actually adopted. She was a stepsister. So, oh, so, really? So they were actually blood. Yeah. And that, I mean, both sides, because she found her mother's family. Yeah. And none of them, either side, had a history that showed that my grandfather and her mother were together. None of them even knew that. But, oh, really? But when all of a sudden a marriage license pops up and they follow it straight to the courthouse where it was registered and there it is, the... They were married by a justice of the peace. Oh, no, that's funny. <laughs> and she ended up pregnant, and they divorced and within all of it within a year. Oh, yeah. But, but neither side of the family was ever told about it. But the mother of my aunt gave birth to that kid, and they dropped that kid on my grandfather's doorstep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he, he, uh, and then when he got married again, and to my father's mother, he, him and her agreed, we're just going to let the world believe that we adopted this kid, you know? Yeah. So, so here it was actually his, his daughter, but no, she was adopted. <laughs> and we, and, but when we found that stuff out and started talking about it, I was amazed at how on both sides of the family, there were individuals going, don't bring that up. Don't talk about that. Isn't that That's, funny? They, don't, they... Don't, don't go there. And I kept saying, the people we're talking about are dead. What are they going to do? Haunt me? I don't, come on. Um, yeah, it's so you know, funny. It's so funny because it's common. That was common. You yeah, know, doing stuff like that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, a... my, my, my grandfather, in fact, had been married six times, but he only had children with two yeah. of them. Oh, really? Wow, six and, times. Yeah. Oh wow. man, that guy was—he was just looking for the next wife, you know. <laughs> uh, and there was yeah. one time or there was one time where his divorce of the one woman overlapped the marriage to this next woman so yeah oh yeah. they were wow. a little too too quick getting married the divorce wasn't quite final yet yeah. on the last one and, that and, was my mom my mom did that yeah and and it's interesting but then you got those family members oh that's Family dirt. Those are skeletons. Keep them in the closet. You know. Oh, come on. Yeah. And I, I liked when you said you went and you were camping out at cemeteries. You know. Yeah. I. Yeah, it, was, it was. It was scary. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty freaky at times, man. Yeah. Yeah. I went to some rural areas out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And I'm like, okay, I can't stay at the cemetery but i'll go down like just a little bit of ways from it because it's kind of freaky yeah it's like oh night of the living dead thing going on here i don't want to be sleeping in that place <laughs> complete darkness it was it was dark but uh, I, I, I had a uh for i have a forester and i made it into a kind of a almost like a little rv you know it's fun oh yeah well that's nice to hear i you have seen I don't know if you have or not on my channel, my adventure oh. trailer. Yes. Yeah. That's old Harley Davidson trailer made to haul your scooters around. Oh, no kidding. And I got no Harley. So I said, <laughs> I'll sell it. Well, I had a really nice topper on my King Ranch pickup truck and but I went to a tonneau cover, so I had the topper sitting there for three years trying to sell the dang thing, but nobody was interested. Nobody wanted it. 
And one day I'm looking at that trailer and I'm going, why can't I sell that damn trailer? I paid $4,500 for the damn thing. I right. can't even get three grand for it. And it, it was like brand new. I mean, literally. In fact, it only had about 500 miles on it when I went to sell it. And, but nobody was interested at the time. So I said, well, I'll just let them sit. One day I'm in the kid's backyard. I see my topper sitting there and I'm going, what do I do? Haul it to the dump. I, I guess I'll have to because nobody wants it. I looked at the trailer and I go, geez, I got to do something with that trailer. Oh, topper, trailer, topper. Tra oh, I think that'll fit on the roof. <laughs> oh, no kidding. And so I, to, I ha you have a video on that, right? Yeah. 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 I got to look at that video. I got a few videos with the, yeah, and you'll really see on. Uh, You'll know which videos usually have to do with the trailer because you see the trailer. It's right. the or orange and black Harley Davidson colors, you know. No kidding. Nice trailer, huh? Yeah. And what I did was is I went and I mounted that topper on the roof, cut the roof out, and so it's on the back half of the trailer. It's just a little single axle utility trailer. Right. And inside i mounted a murphy bed on the wall that folds down off the wall oh no kidding and i spent six months campground hosting this year in that trailer and it took me five of those six months to realize i'm no good in a standard bed i cannot sleep in a stand any kind of standard bed oh really and i've got a select number air bed you know and I was told, well, if hard, soft, whatever, anything in between, you can figure it out with that bed. You'll get comfortable in that one. Well, no, I spend all night with that air controller in my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so this summer, I was sitting in the trailer and I'm going, well, the Murphy bed, when it's down, takes up most of that trailer you can hardly move around but when it's up against the wall man there's all kinds of space in that trailer yeah and i realized you know what i went and got a mounting kit and i hung one of my hammocks in that trailer oh and wow. i started sleeping in the hammock and realized this is the answer man i can sleep in the hammock i'm comfortable as hell in a hammock oh no kidding so so in the morning, all I do is get up, the bedding in the hammock just rolls up in the hammock, and then it's strapped to the ceiling, yeah, totally out of the way. And I've got my whole trailer wide open, and everything's accessible, and the Murphy bed's out of the way. <coughs> so, yeah, I put one little window in the door. Now, this, uh -huh. this summer, I'm putting another window in it. I'm gonna mount an air conditioner in it and you know what uh, a window i wanted to get for my little tiny trailer is one of those like ship windows yeah yeah a, a portal yeah yeah a little they're, portal they're, they're a little spendy or they're hard to get but i thought that would look cool yeah you know you I had, open it up you know i had a 1965 40 conline van little short bugger half tonner and that thing was tiny, and that had two bronze actual portals that came out of a steamboat on Lake Minnetonka in Minnesota, and I mounted those in the back for the windows on my van, and twice I had people trying to pry them out of the body of my van to steal them. Wow. See, he brings me joy. <laughs> Good guy right there. Yeah, not a great <laughs> gamer is great. Uh, he is. I mean, I'll tell you. <laughs> ZZ I, Top. We just lost a Z, a, one of those guys yep, on ZZ yep, Top. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I get that crap all the time. I, I can't go to the post offices in town here without somebody yelling out to me, you know. And I tell them, no, I'm not. Go away. <laughs> you know, the... um. I got to be careful what kind of headgear I wear. 
and what pair of shades I wear because, boy, they just right away, look at there, look at there, look at there. You know, if they tipped me or something, if they were throwing me $5 bills or something, that, <laughs> I'd be, be good story. with it. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go along with it. You know, just get a go crowd with of people. it. Next thing you know, you got a whole couple crowds of people. <laughs> you bet. You bet. And I, I, there's been several times that I've really, really thought, hey, if I take myself a couple of good speakers and get some good pre recording, I could link, uh, lip sync, lip, lip sync <laughs> down on the street corner and probably make quite a bit of money, you know? Yeah, that'd until, be funny. It, it, until I got caught, of course, you know. But <laughs> well, what, you can still do it. You yeah, I, <laughs> I really you know don't. I, yeah, I don't know what the possible legal ramifications could be, but I got a feeling I'd probably make enough money to hire an attorney. You know, <laughs> I played the the um, the Duck Dynasty card a few times. Yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, I actually did, and I actually got my buddy a big motor home i got six thousand bucks knocked off of their bottom ass price they said we can't go any lower than this because that's what we paid for it on a oh. trade <laughs> and I, I still got them to go down another six grand because hey the family ain't gonna like you screwing me like this you know right and and that salesman was convinced i was part of that family you know and that's and so cool it was fun it was fun yeah, but, I have a uh, a little. It's almost like a teardrop trailer that was built. Somebody made. Oh, neat! And um, <laughs> <laughs> who let this happen? <laughs> That's funny. Um, That's funny. That's cute. But uh, super cool little thing. I don't know if you saw you ever saw it. It's uh, the back end has a kitchen on it. Uh -huh. And a guy built this thing, so it's like it's kind of old school looking. Sure, queen queen size bed can be in it. Oh and, wow! Uh, my my uh, small car can pull it, and uh, that's that's the key is 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 it really mobile? You know. Oh yeah. My buddy Travis with tales of a campground host. They just got themselves a new camper. Mm-hmm. I think the bugger, it's 34, 36 feet long. Great big beast. And he's constantly whining. I love my campsite, but I can't put my trailer where I want it because it's too tight of a turn. I can't get it. Yeah. And he sees me with my trailer, and I'll take off down some old rugged back road with tugging that thing, and I'll stick it in the bushes anywhere I want. I, yep. It fits, fits everywhere. I pulled into campsites. And actually said, oh, the heck with it. And I go off the parking pad and drive around in the grass around the fire pit, put the trailer out totally where you wouldn't put it because it's so small. I can put it anywhere. And, mm -hmm. but yet it's very roomy on the inside. It's, a, it's seven feet wide and 11 feet long interior dimensions. So, yeah. So, it's, yeah. It, and it's full height. It's six foot, about six foot three, six, four. Height. You can stand in it. Yeah, you can walk around in there. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. And it's got above storage. And heck, I got microwave in there, porta potty, kitchen counter, uh, all of that in there. And it's roomy. I can walk around. And I heck, I had, I had studio set up in there this summer. Yeah. Yeah. And I have people come to my trailer and they go, what the hell are you doing? Oops, I'm playing PlayStation. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're supposed to be camping. Yeah. I'm playing Minecraft. You know, <laughs> so I'm outdoors. I'm still outdoors. <laughs> uh, wow. But but that's it is, you know, people want to be so big and extravagant with everything. No, I know. And and I loved what you were saying is, is that you get to a certain age and money becomes more of a non-issue. And I, every day I get up, my oldest boy, he's thrilled. I'm moving in with him mm -hmm. uh, to his big home. And it's all a windfall for me. 
he thinks it's a big windfall for him because he's going to get a lot of projects done, you know. <laughs> and, but he doesn't really understand how big of a windfall it is for me. And when I told him, I, well, I'm, one thing I'm going to do is save 80 bucks a month on my internet because yeah. I'm going to help kick in for his high speed and, and I won't have to pay my whole bill anymore. And he goes, yeah, but that's just 80 bucks. I said, well, no, really, pal, that 80 bucks is a lot. And he goes, not anymore, it ain't. I said, it is for me because I live on my needs basis. Yep. Yep. I just, when I get up in the morning, that's the first thing I think about. Are, are my needs covered for the day? Yeah. Yep. House is paid for. Utilities are paid for. Groceries are paid for. Gas in the truck. Anything that's left over, and it doesn't have to be a lot, is all fun money. Yeah. I mean, so, and I don't need, I had my heyday throughout the years. So <laughs> I know. Now, yeah. now I just want to yep. kick back and relax and enjoy. I love your, your porch there and all of your, oh man, you got that. See, I can't eat much. I don't. I I eat right. less. I eat less than half a pound of food daily. So that sa that sandwich you chowed down, those uh, sandwiches, I, both of them. I ate them both. <laughs> that I looked. I watched you, and I'm going. There's full, very. There's four full, very, very full meals sitting there yeah, for yeah. me. But if I had. I'll have the capability to do what you're doing once I'm over at the boy's house because he's got a big wraparound porch on his house and oh, nice. covered porch porch. But oh I, snap. Oh boy. Loader man, what's going on? Oh loader man. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. yeah, I've 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 been kind of keeping an eye on loader man. He, I caught the first time I saw him was on your panel. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. a he's a good guy. He's down there in Florida too, right? Aren't you in Florida, Florida man? Yeah, sitting on the yeah. on the Gulf Coast, Southwest yeah. Florida. Yeah, I, yeah. Did I uh, did I send I send you a sticker, right? You know, I haven't been to the post office, so if you did, they're sitting there in the post office waiting for me. Did I tell <laughs> you I was? If if you did, they're sitting at the post office okay. waiting for me. I haven't. Yeah, but I haven't did, I, did I tell you I was going to send you one? I appreciate that. I, I, I definitely know. I'm building a uh, sticker wall. We're gonna I'm gonna put it up back here on this wall. Oh, awesome. nice. Yeah, you got to build a sticker wall. It's fun, man. Um, I think I I think I told you I was sending you one. I can't remember, but we'll wait a few days. If you don't get it, then I'll send you some more. Send See he. Back. Loader man, he did the same thing with me. He says, "Did I tell you I was going to send you one?" And I'm going, "Geez, I'm old. I don't remember if you damn told me or not. I mean, if you told me you were, I would have, I would have filed that away. You don't have to think about it anymore. You're going to get a sticker, you know, right? So I couldn't remember if you had told me he was or not. So he's showing off last night in his stream. He goes, yeah, I'm going to send you my sticker and all these coupons to Sonic. And I'm like, okay, he might be doubling up. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't have a problem with that because if he does double up, because I'm doing the same thing. It was supposed to happen this year, but it's definitely happening this spring on my adventure trailer that I go camping and traveling with. I'm doing a whole panel on that trailer, my YouTube friends, and I've oh, got cool. about, I've got about about sixty five stickers now that are going to be going on that travel trailer that's going all over traveling. So, that's neat. Uh, yeah, I I wanted to do one on the wall, but but I thought no, I'm gonna, I want one where all, the whole public seeing it out there, you know, all the time. So, yeah, that's awesome. Heck, yeah, you get our age. You got to walk around with a pad of paper and a pencil all day long. You, you'll never remember one day the next. That's it, you know. And I ha I've had people telling me that that if I put it on my trailer, I should put it on the tailgate because it's got the drop down big tailgate and it's just a big black panel on the back of the trailer. And they said that should be all your stickers. And I wow. said, why on the back? 
And they said it's either got to be right on the back or it's got to be on the curb side of the trailer. Mm -hmm. Because you want people walking down the sidewalk to stop and look at it, you know? Or right. that poor sucker stuck behind you <laughs> on a two lane highway that's going to be there for an hour. <laughs> you know, you look at all these around. channels and they're on their phone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I have all mine on my, I don't know, 200 pound, 300 pound, or whatever it weighs. It weighs more than that. Safe. So, oh. that safe is, if, when you move that safe, it's heavy. And oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, they're kind of, it's that's that's their home now. That's pretty permanent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. But, Stye, so all this, all this stuff here, you see that guy over there? Oh yeah. Nice barbecuer. Oh yeah. That thing is beautiful, huh? Yeah. You know what I paid for that? I don't even want to hear. You. You're gonna make me upset. <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> I didn't pay a dime for that. My uh, my neighbor gave it to me, right? And I don't know how all this started, man. I can't even remember. I don't know if it's because I'm old, but uh -huh. I don't remember. All the Where it all. All of a sudden, Word. I've got all this, and I'm doing a YouTube channel. <laughs> that's the way it works, so Mojo. I'm telling you, that's the way it works. You don't see that crap coming, and all of a sudden, you realize it's there. My last, one of my last large homes that the ex-wife and I lived in, when we moved out of that home, I decided I'm going to have a big sale. I sold seven smokers. I had seven smokers. Wow. And I had 11 barbecues between, you know, smoker barbecues, gas barbecues, electric, outdoor electric grills. I used to do uh, events at my house for the family and the neighborhood and shit. And it was not uncommon that we'd run through 300 pounds of meat that we'd oh, grill. Wow. And I used to spring for all that shit. Fourth of July is at my house were to die for. Our local fire department, police department, my last year in that house, we lived right smack in the middle of the town. Huge. 3,000 square foot Victorian home with this big wraparound yard and I had trampolines all in red, white, and blue out in the yard for the kids to jump on. And we had the whole barbecue area. And I, the highest count what my one kid got well, at one time in the yard was 170 people. It was, yeah, anybody, if you're walking oh, by, come nuts. on in, have yourself a steak, some lobster, shrimp. We got everything. You want smoked turkey? We got smoked turkey. We got smoked salmon with everything well when i realized when we went to move i realized how much of that shit i had i couldn't remember when and where i bought any of it yeah oh i know it was like where did that come from where did that big old turkey deep fryer come from i don't <laughs> ever remember buying that damn thing yeah that's where i'm at i just i don't even i don't know anymore <laughs> and it's it's a love now. I, I, I love my grill, oh. but I told you I'm moving to the south. Yeah. I want to sell my house right now and move to the south and buy a house outright. Okay, now what's the south? Well, talking Alabama, Georgia, okay. Tennessee. Okay. Yep. And uh, it's going to happen. And I actually, I want to put my house on the market now Uh huh. because of just where we're at with the market. Right, and, right. And uh, good move time. My wife down there before I go down there, you know. Oh yeah. And because yeah. I don't want to be like a year from now, two years from now, and go, I missed it. I missed that opportunity. Yeah, you know? if if the yeah. window is open, jump. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's definitely a seller's market right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hopefully down here. You know where I live, right? I live in the Great Northwest, Seattle, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Ridicu it's ridiculous up here. That, that yeah, I mean, it's, it's insane. The market up here is insane, man. What well, I I was gonna say I had I had bought eighty acres in northwestern Montana 
back in 1984. And we paid yeah. $80, $81,000 for that 80 acres. Beautiful. Wow. Mount, Mountain Creek running right through it. And just outside of city limits of a small town. So we were outside of the city municipal issues, any of that crap, you know. It was country, but convenient, right? $81,000. I sold it. I thought I did okay. I, I turned it over for a hundred grand. So I, yeah, I made 20 grand off of it about. Well, I just found out that, that was 30 years ago. <laughs> I just found out that piece of property, they subdivided the son of a bitch and oh, his grand total turnover on that 1.9 million. Yes. Yeah. For that 80 acres that I paid $80,000 for. I, you, you, and I'm glad that money doesn't matter to me anymore because that would, I, boy, I'd be crying. <laughs> yeah, but you would like that million now, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, you know, I, I'd like it, you know, but people that know me, if somebody gave me a million, they would know that nothing's going to change for me, not, not a yeah. single you, thing, but a same. lot of, but a lot of people are going to have fun. They're going to have fun. I guess because I, I've done that my whole life. My ex-wife, that's another reason why she left me was I, I told her, I said, I ain't saving nothing. I'm buying memories, man. You know, we're, when her and I were both working, we're making close to 200 grand a year. At the end of the year, I might have $30,000 in the bank save, in savings. I yeah. spend every damn penny yeah. buying memories. I always bought memories. Big barbecues, big community picnics. And I, what the hell? We're spending that. Let's take a trip. Let's go to Vegas with the kids. That's the dumbest thing in the world. That's the dumbest <laughs> thing. Take your kids to Vegas? <laughs> you take your kids to Circus Circus for a week. Yes, I've been there. I've done that. <laughs> And you've got four kids screaming and hollering at you. What do you mean I can't take my big bear or my giant giraffe home on the airplane? The son of a bitch is bigger than any adult. I got to buy a seat for the damn thing. You know, <laughs> when we came back from going to Circus Circus for a week, I spent over $500 in shipping to get all the crap them kids had won shipped back home. Wow. Giant bears. There was a bear that was seven feet tall and his head was about three and a half feet around. How the hell are you going to get that on a plane? You know, but oh no. Dad, dad, you're good. Oh, you can't make me leave my bear. <laughs> I'm taking the bear home because they're getting your seat on the airplane and you're staying. You know, I, yeah. Yeah. That's but, hilarious. but, uh, yeah, that million bucks, I I could have had fun with that. I could I I could have had fun. Oh yeah. But sure. I think I think it's great. You're heading south. Um, yeah. You're gonna be doing the same thing you're doing now, there, Mojo. When you get well, there, I retire. I'm retiring from what I'm doing in about. Oh. It's about two years. So I'll collect a little pension. But of course, I'll be doing something else. No, I, I have to do something else because sure. of uh, my union. But sure. I'm not. I can. You know what I can do, Sty? You can become famous on YouTube. There you go. You know what I could do? I could do whatever I want, man. Whatever I want to do, man. That's that's the thing. I I'm done. I'm done. Well, with well, the well. I've done the L.A. I've done the <laughs> Oregon. I've done. Washington State and the big cities and the hoopla. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. I'm yeah. ready to relax and just put it in, you know, cruise control. And there you go. You 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 caught up with me. There you go. That's it. Yeah. You That's know, great. I love hearing that. I love hearing that. And I uh, did. You, that, and all of a sudden, YouTube is like, okay, where am I going to be on YouTube in about a year and a half, two years? What am I going to do? Am I going to go just go full time and chill out and just have fun and just go all in? You know. Be careful when you say that, because look at me. I started my YouTube channel in 2015. I had started a wilderness camp business. What's up, Kevin? At, hey, hey, Kevin. 
Hey, I'm, I'm doing a drive-by uh, photo bomb. A drive-by. <laughs> Hey, what, what, at, what, what is this thing on my refrigerator? What the hell is that? Look at that! Isn't that what sexy? The hell is that? How what is it? Does anybody know how to remove that? Does anybody know how to remove one of those things? Nope, nope. It stays. It's there for good. <laughs> That's my it's size. permanent. That's my. Yeah, you know, so I just want. That's to cool. Stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Just want to say hey. bye. Uh, thank you, Marjo, for the sticker and and the, the other little goodies. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. Good to see you. Yeah. I just received uh, yeah. yours. I think, did I show you I got yours? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I did a little video on your stuff, too, so I think it should be on there now. Yeah. But so, I yeah. appreciate it, sir. You're on You're I'm, on the wall of fame, the sticker wall yeah. of fame. <laughs> well, well yeah, I think the video, there's going to be a mojo sticker no. behind him somewhere. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I gotta fix this now. Okay, there, it's better now. <laughs> so, uh, now, what were you saying, Sty? I'll let you. Well, I was just gonna <laughs> say what what where you were heading with what what could happen with you and YouTube down the road here mm -hmm. in the not so distant future happened to me. I I started my YouTube channel as a marketing tool for my business. Oh wow! And, okay. And I just if you look at my channel and you look at it, the oldest videos those were all marketing and you'll see it'll come up wilderness thriving fundamentals that was the name of our camp wtf oh god i love that you know mm -hmm. what the fuck? yeah anyway but <laughs> but so i use youtube just as a mark mark marketing tool and i um it was going okay but i didn't have a lot of followers about a hundred followers throughout the first year you know it wasn't a lot of subscribers i had a lot of viewers but no no subscribers and then we liquidated the business we shut the business down and i told my youtube channel i did a video saying yeah things are changing man i'm done you know i got no reason to do the channel i'm not we're shutting down wilderness thriving fundamentals oh my god all of a sudden the subs go up and everybody's got something to say. You ain't going nowhere. You told us a couple of sty stories. We want to keep hearing that shit. And you ain't going nowhere. And it's, it's, all right, fine. Maybe once a week I'll post a video. And here I am five years after that. And over 4,000 subs now. And, mm -hmm. and a five-show week. I do YouTube. That's what I do now. Yeah. I live life, go do camp and go do all the things I'd love to do. But Wednesday, uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I've got a one hour show. Thursdays and Sundays, I've got a who cares how many hours show. So, but five days a week, it's a full time job. Man. Yeah. And but it's fun. I would have never, ever imagined going here and doing that. And, and, YouTube does generate a little bit of income for me. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it gives me enough ching to be able to keep the channel going, keep the equipment up to snuff. And, you know, so it's being a YouTuber full time like that really isn't, a, it's a time burden. That's all it is. But it's so much fun. I mean, and I tell people all the time, I don't understand. I work so hard, and I, I, I'm getting so I just hate this. Well, then shut your channel down. Mm -hmm. If you're not liking it, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, that's the whole thing. You need to enjoy what you're doing. You bet. If you don't, if you don't enjoy it, you shouldn't. Whatever. No, go go to the lake. Go swimming. Get, go get drunk. Go, you know, but do something you like. Don't hang out here if you're not liking it. Uh, well, guys, go. So I got to get back to my uh, home brewing. I, I was in a point where I can kind of say hi. So. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, you take care. You have a good weekend, man. Uh, you too. Good you to guys. see you, Kevin. See ya. Um, I, one thing that happens with me is I get uh, anxiety. And uh -huh. I didn't realize this until like just recently. I'm like, this craziness I feel is anxiety. Sure. I get anxiety when things aren't perfect. Right. And in, in order. And every time I do a live feed, 
and this was about a month ago when I stopped it. I said, whoa, 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 dude, back off. I said, <laughs> enjoy what you enjoy to do. Right. You know, don't get anxiety if, if some, something's not ready or whatever. It's just, just flow with it. And I learned that about a month ago that, dude, just chill, relax. Okay, enjoy what you like to do. Get your stuff, you know, whatever you need to get ready. And if it's not ready, it's not ready. It's so the world's not going to end. You're just doing a live feed on YouTube. What's exactly. So hey, hey, Mojo. Here's a good example. My very first live stream. This YouTube buddy of mine, Cheesehead Chris. He's a goofball. That guy's a goofball boy. At he gets all of me. He says, "I'm going to try doing this live stream and stuff." And I said, "Oh God, I ain't going there. I ain't going there." He goes, why not? You used to stand in front of 2,000 people and do lectures and crap. You were in D.C. in front of hearings and shit. You can do live stream. You're good at it. I know you'll be good at it. I said, no, I, 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 there's just something about this camera stuff. I, did, I don't know. Well, he talked me into it before he ever went live. So we're oh, doing wow. these little test streams with each other, private ones, and all I'm doing is getting, like you said, building more anxiety, and I'm just in a panic, man. I'm getting stage fright to die for, you know. My first live stream, I walked into that live stream telling myself, you're going to crash. Nobody will be there. It'll just be you, <laughs> and, and there's not going to be a single viewer. What do you do, you know? Sure as shit. I get there, and it's like... Oh my God, there's not even one on the viewer count. I'm here alone. And I'm staring <laughs> at staring at the screen like, now what the hell do I do? That's the best. <laughs> and, and and I'm like, holy shit. I'm and I, I'm going and so I started talking to myself. You know, God, yeah, I'm up here all alone. Maybe we'll give this a little while to see if somebody shows up or something, you know. <laughs> so I'm talking to myself all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. They start adding up. All of a sudden, I'm going, holy God, there's 30-some people oh, wow. watching me talk to myself. I should have kept a closer look at that count. I talked to myself a little too long. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, it clicked. Live streams are nothing but an unedited video. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's all a live stream is. Is an uh, yeah. it's raw video. So I started treating it as if I was doing a video. Yeah. And then every stream since then, I can come in the house. There's nobody there, and I'm going, "Hey, hi guys! It's good to see all of you." And it, all I do is envision I got a room full all the time. I always have yeah. a room full. And yeah, Mo Mojo's good at it. You know, we we watch yes. him burn stuff all the time. He's oh. Oh, and that's it, is he it, needs it, to be like, himself. <laughs> when I mess up and there's something that I have to redo that takes a minute, I, I have to figure it out that quick. And it's, yeah, it, 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 it is what it is. Makes a good actor out of you, that's for sure. <laughs> well, and that's <laughs> it. Is, is, roll it off the you, grill and start over. If you don't know how, you will learn how to improv. Because, yeah. you know, and... And your viewers, and you'll find, boy, the ones that stick with you and stay with you forever are the ones that get to see you for who you really are. That you know, they, they want to see you screw up. They want to see oh, you yeah. stick your foot in your mouth. They want to see you burn your, your, your you're bragging because you got this twenty-five dollar steak, and you're gonna cook that on the grill. And then you get yakking at the screen, and then and they're watching that steak burning the BAL in the background. And you turn around and you go, Holy shit, was that a waste of money? I screwed that. They love it because it's you, it's, it's real. They want I had fires. I had fires back here. <laughs> <laughs> Three different times I had to deal with something, you know, and went up in flames, and you just deal with it. It's, 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 it's more fun than ever. The worst. You know what? Is when you don't know your audio is messed up, because <laughs> the two, two most important is video and audio. <laughs> and you you do a video and then you throw it out there and you find out that your audio, you know, all wasn't plugged. Up. It wasn't plugged all the way in and it's coming in and out and in and out and 
Yeah, that's the worst. Well, and I had to get off. I had a guy tell me this yesterday. I had to like stop watching your video because it bugged the hell out of me because your audio was in and out. And I'm like, uh -huh. what? <laughs> what? Oh, maybe I should go back and look at my own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I had that happen just maybe two or three streams ago. Now, I've done over 300 live streams. You would think I've got it mastered. No. I get on here and it goes through the intro and everybody sees me and I look and I go, I go, well, I got 18 people in the first 30 seconds and here they are. And I start going. <laughs> I think I saw you do that the other day. <laughs> and and everything spicy, Phil. He's messaging me on Facebook, yelling at me. Your mic is off, you moron. You know, yeah. I, I, oh, I was Jesus there. I, I, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to turn the mic I'm, on. This is new. I'm new. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just fresh. I, as you know, give me a give me a break. Come on, I'm just learning this stuff. But it's, it's only it's, been it's, two yeah. years, but it's fun, you know. And it's just you just you flow with it because it's always going to happen. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. And well. Uh, that's the thing is, is keep in mind, live streams are that. They're live streams. They're not choreographed. They're not, right. you know. So all these people, like, like I've only been doing this, like, literally eight months, nine months. Uh-huh. And That's you got good. a good viewer count right now or um, sub count for how long you've been doing it. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Um, I'm in no hurry. That's the thing. No hurry. But when I want to apply myself, I'll get like, yep. cause I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. Right. Because of what I do for a living. But, um, now I, dude, I'm old. I can't be talking and get distracted on and something else. Now I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Damn it. Well, um, that's what keeps the content interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So, dude, this is so bad. I'm so old. I'm not old, but trust me, I don't. I don't tell myself I'm old because when I'm old, I'm still going to be me. Um, well, that's it. I, I, you know, I, I'm very. I, again, I, I, I'm a forget. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just so going to say. Let me say this before I forget. Yes. The people in the in you know, I even call them family on youtube are absolutely amazing people and i would do anything for them and take give them the shirt off my back man uh you just become really good friends with a lot of people on here yeah, and it's just do. the coolest thing ever and uh, yeah you don't see the real life like it's like facebook right facebook only yeah. people put on like nice little things you know look at me my cute little dog and my cute little house and yeah, my cute little yeah. bit, and everything's cute yeah. and you know, but yeah. when the Facebook's turned off, you know, they're normal people. Yeah. You know, so they scream and holler and cuss and have a bad day and whatever. And it's just, I'm normal. The one, the one thing I need to tell you, Mojo, with that issue is you do have to sometimes reel back in some of your uh, maturity. <laughs> yeah. I, I, this, this happened a year ago. It was a bad, it was a bad day, historically a bad day for me. Yeah. And somebody brought up what make would typically make that day of the year a bad day for me. And I was feeling down and depressed because they're bringing this shit up. I don't want to hear it, you know. Yeah. And oh God, I'm on two streams today, and that's all they talked about was that issue and i don't want to talk about it i don't want to so i closed out my stream that night and i started surfing and i found this channel and they got a panel and they're having a blast they're all up there drinking carrying on having a blast joking away and i thought that'll pick me up so he invited me on his panel i got on his panel and you know that's i got a small bottle of something sitting close by all the time. <laughs> next thing I know, it's the next day, and I'm getting killed on personal messages. 
You wouldn't believe the crap you were saying, Stye. You wouldn't have believed what you were doing. And you were so damn drunk and carrying on. And oh, my God. All that. Oh, oh, liquid truth got me. Son of a yeah. bitch. So they saw. At, the, the only benefit was well, glad to say, see. Oh, yeah, you're a pretty happy drunk, aren't you? You know, well, <laughs> I should have never gone there, man. I should have gone down that road. That's something you do in your tight circles, you know. Yeah, right. But right, I, right. But I, I did it worldwide, and and yeah, I had to learn a lesson where once in a while I have to remind myself maybe the real, the total real me is a little more than some people can handle, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw uh, that yeah. on a panel uh, the other day where it was he was being real and it, it kind of you know shocked people and i was like that's okay yeah. he's being real he's that's him that's that's who he right. is you know right um, right oh i've got you know. followers where i go oh yeah that boy i wouldn't take him to meet my mother that's for sure <laughs> and, but i laugh my butt off at him because they're so they, they, there's nothing fake about them whatsoever, you know. Right. And there's they're just open books, and that's that's me. People say, "How can you tell all these sty stories about your personal life and things?" That because I'm an open book, I don't care. I nobody ever invites me to play truth or dare because truth. <laughs> yeah, throw a truth at me. I I, yeah. I win that one. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. But that's the wonder of YouTube and the community and the YouTube family that we build is that, like you said, Mojo, the wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I am so glad that I met you the other day. Um, it was great having you on the panel. And by the way, I got some PMs that said, hey, who's this Mojo? that You had him on the panel. That was cool. He seems neat. I said, hey, go check him out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. That's how we build our communities. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, that's, the, I mean, this is me. This is who I really am. And uh, I'm not just patting myself on the back or whatever, but this is right. who I've always been. I am a very genuine, genuine person and I help people. Yeah. I don't know if you saw those big dogs I had here earlier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah those are your my dog sitting. Dogs. And no, he's uh, staying in my garage. Because he's by oh now. oh so, that so he's actually the there. Yeah, he called at nine o'clock at night. And he's like, I need a place to stay. Boom. Yeah, you know. And uh, I've had probably three different people in my garage. I just let them stay in my little trailer. Yeah. They have a bed, heater, TV, chair, the whole nine yards in there. And uh, yeah, that's just what I do. Um, I've rented out my room. I have. I ran out of room. I have a, a renter in there now, and I and I'm only charging them 450 bucks a month. Super cheap. I can get 700 out of it, right? Sure. But I'm helping him. He's he's you know he needs help, and I've done that for the past gosh four years I think, off and on with different people. See, I did that just last year. I live in a large apartment complex. It's an eight-story building. I'm on the fourth floor. It's one of the best apartments in the whole city. I look out over Lake Superior. Beautiful. Oh, no kidding. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. At this scene, this window behind me, is actually a photograph of my window, my picture window. Wow. So that's Shawamigan Bay behind me on Lake Superior. But... In this big building, there's 82 apartments in this building. And this old fella, he lives up on the seventh floor. I'm on the fourth. They had something go amiss in his kitchen. And they were going to have to come in and totally demo his kitchen. Tear the whole damn thing out. And new cabinets, new appliances, everything. And they told him he's going to have to move into a motel for a week while they do that demo. And he's telling me about it. And I told him, I said, 
they can't let you stay in the apartment and just, you know, they, there's no reason they can't tarp the between the kitchen and the dining and living room, bedroom, bathroom area, right? Yeah, why can't they just, you know, there's no reason they can't sheet that and do that work in there and let you stay at home, for God's sakes. And he said, well, yeah, but there's no way to for me to fix meals or anything. I said, no, you just get the hell out of there in the morning, come down to my place. I said, I'll give you a key to my place. Come on down, fix your damn breakfast. And if I'm fixing breakfast, we'll both have breakfast, you know. But come on down and have your meals at my place until they get your apartment done. Holy shit, that word went through the whole damn building. It's, why in the hell would somebody do that? Yeah. Well, come on, the guy needed a hand, and the guy's okay, you know. I, yeah. I was a, He wasn't going to rip me off or nothing. Yeah. He, he just needed a helping hand, and he didn't have to pay for a motel. So yeah. that, People yeah. don't do that anymore. Is what it is, yeah. and it, it is, yeah. and it's weird. It weirds people out, you know. People at my work always go, you know, you're always having somebody at your house. You're always doing this, yeah. But you know what? I ha I've helped out a lot of people that needed help, you know. And it'll come back to you when you need it. That's the yeah, sweet and I don't, part about and, it. Is and that's the thing. I don't expect anybody it, to help right. me, and I don't. Right. You know, I really try not to think like that. I do it in the kindness of my heart, but see, and that's that's me too. Is I do stuff for people, and then it's done. It's just done. I, you know, I don't. But no big deal. It's done. That's and one I'm, I'm one too. Is is I've had a couple people get wise to it, try to take advantage of it. But if somebody comes up to me and they're hard up and they're going, "Hey, can you loan me twenty bucks?" Uh, if I got twenty bucks to spare, I peel it off, hand it to them, and say, "That ain't a loan. That's a gift. I don't like people owing me nothing. Mm -hmm. That's a gift. Take it." Because yeah, do something for somebody else someday down the road, you know. And and when I'm that happened on my YouTube channel, I had my desktop, the sole source, my streaming ability completely crash. I mean, it oh. that some bitch fried. And so I grabbed my little laptop and a real shaky, nasty live stream telling everybody, guess what, guys? With my budget right now to replace the equipment that I need, that I've got to have to run my studio, it's going to be between one and three months. So no more live streams for one to three months. So just hang tight and watch for me. I was pissed. I was pissed. And I actually pissed two people off because within 48 hours, I had $3,700 in my wow. PayPal account. Nice. All my damn viewers are kicking me money to replace that equipment today. Today. Wow. We don't That's want to so miss awesome. the stream. I kicked all of that money back except for 800 bucks of it. And it pissed some people off. I sent it back to them. I just reversed the payment. Right, right, right. And their message me, what? That's an insult. You didn't take my money and this and that. I said, give it to someone else in need because my need had been met. You know, yeah. I don't need extra, but you guys are insane. What are you doing? Because I don't expect that at all. Yeah, right. And they wow. said, well, you, you told us you needed your, your our help. I said, no, I told you I won't be streaming for one to three months. <laughs> I didn't say I needed anything from you guys except patience. Yeah. You know, I don't expect you to carry my load. Oh, no, they just, boy. And I had to stop myself and say, that's that rule of paying it forward, you know. You know? And and I did. I I was able, after I got all my new equipment and that, I was able to help out Get Her Done Granny and a few others that ended up in crisis. I was able to kick the equivalent and then some of that back to help them out. Oh, nice. So, so it's, you know, and that's it. Is See, Now, I are, don't... Those are wonderful people right there you just named. I just mm -hmm. got to meet them and, you know, start to know them, you know. Yeah. Super, super funny. She's, she's uh, funny. E-Waste Mike is another one. E-Waste Mike. He's the nasty... He can be the nastiest, hardest... <laughs> 
gruffest character in the world, but you'll never meet somebody with a bigger heart than him. Right. I mean, that man has helped me to no end. And um, he sent me things. He sent me a whole big grab box full of stuff from his place. A lot of it was prank stuff because he enjoys doing that. And I, he just wanted to harass me. So he sent me all these things that I, he knew I would find a use for, but he wrapped it all. And then he'd put a small little item. He'd use a whole roll of electrical tape to tape it shut. <laughs> so I sat here for an hour and a half live stream, <laughs> cutting this stuff open out of this big box. He sent me. all That's of that hilarious. stuff, all of that stuff, except for, a few items were things he got scrapping, right? That damn box cost him $58 to ship. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I said, you goofball, why did you do that? Why did you spend 58 bucks to send me that stuff, you know? I don't know. Because it's fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. And I knew you some of the, and there was good stuff in there. There was a set of cast iron frying pans that Holy those man. alone would have cost the shipping on that box. And so it was wonderful stuff. But what he paid on top of it for shipping was just like, why are you doing this? And it's just because he's got that big of a heart. He's that kind of guy, you know. Yeah. And he's the kind of guy where if he hears you say something that there's a that you're having a hardship of some sort, it doesn't have to even be monetary, just you know, something personal that you're dealing with. If you're not asking for anything, he's jumping in, he's gonna help out some way. It's the ones that come on and say, Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. He'll ignore them. Right. Yeah, it's right. it's it's those ones that say I own my own problems. I just want to share it with you because of the emotional burden I'm going through. He jumps right in. He wants to help them out, you know. And that's, I, I love that in people. I love that in people. Yeah. yeah. Well, I should get off of here and go spend some time with that woman in there. Figure out what I was I'm going to do today. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Aren't you going to have to shut down pretty soon? Otherwise, you'll find out you're batching it. You're living alone. <laughs> oh no, she. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she is so chill, man. She's she's pretty chill. That you know, you're you're, you're very fortunate. I yeah, got a she, big uh, Costco beef stew sitting in there that Jenny made for us. Oh, and nice! Was, oh, nice. Uh, I, I had a, I had that for dinner last night. I had her make a, a little stew. Yeah, this is uh. I, every time I walk past the kitchen, she gives me. She got it in the crock pot right now. And, and um lift the lid, the lid and fan it no. towards you. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed to touch the lid yet. You know, it's just oh, oh that's no. hilarious. I don't know if you can see <laughs> this, but <laughs> look at the price. I'm looking forward to it. Any, any minute now, I'm gonna be tearing into that. Oh this is from Costco. I took a picture yesterday of some prime wow. rib. <laughs> oh, oh 100, Lord. $145. And the other one's a hundred dollars. You know that, that's what's going on the master built five sixty on the rotisserie for uh, Thanksgiving is a prime rib roast. Are you? Did you? Did oh, you guys, you're killing me! On the on the rotisserie. Oh, they they uh, I can't stand the price of those things anymore. Okay, yeah. So there, I I was gonna buy one and do a, a video on this uh, kettle that I have that was given to me, uh, forty years old. And every Christmas, he, he cooked a prime rib. Oh, so boy. I was going to do a story and cook a prime rib until I saw the price. And then I said, Ugh, I don't know, man. Yeah, the, the one I got, four and a half pounds, it was over 80 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my <laughs> my kid, he always got prime rib for the family for holiday. And he was the assistant manager of a restaurant here in town. And... He's always so damn proud of himself, you know. He get a nice big, about a about a eight pounder, eight or ten pounder, and he for, for him wholesale cost was between thirty five and forty bucks. 
And I said, you doing that again this year? He goes, you know that one I get every year? He says, no. As far as I'm concerned, people can eat pizza for Christmas because he said that exact same prime rib, my wholesale cost on it is $92. Yeah. It's not. I go, no, no, that's double. That's double the price. He goes, yeah, yeah. It's double, he said. It's crazy. Not, not paying it. Yeah. Well, you guys have good. a good day. And a good you weekend. too. Enjoy. I want to thank you for letting me up. Oh yeah, anytime. You know that, Sty. You're an amazing same goes for you. Individual. Either one of you, come on over. If you want up, let me know, and I'll give you the link. Yeah, I'll be over there. <laughs> All right, you guys. Everybody I'm in the good. chat that's left. You Have know. a great weekend. Yeah. Hey, Loader man. Good seeing you again, man. I appreciate you coming up. Enjoy that uh, stew, man. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's. Yeah, I'll make a video of it. Hopefully, I won't burn it or screw it up. Oh, you can't. <laughs> is it in a crock pot? What do you have it in? The the beef stew? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in a big crock pot there in the kitchen. Yep. That's the best. Well, you yep. see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be moving down by his, by him, you know. That's where I want to move. <laughs> so he's going, yeah, you know where you and the, and the partner are going for dinner occasionally, eh? <laughs> I'm on, on Southwest Florida. Yeah, Southwest Florida. See, I used to go down there every year, down there to Fort Myers. And yep, that's about ninety miles south of me. I'm in Sarasota. Oh, you're in Sarasota. Okay, yeah. See, I used to, I used to do some management work for the dog track in St. Petersburg. Yeah, <laughs> the um, I was a gambling man. Yeah, but but stayed in Fort Myers. Yeah, that, we closed that down. Uh, what three years ago? Dog racing here. Yeah, yeah. They had the three I, tracks. They had Tampa, St. Pete, and Sarasota. Yeah. And, and at St. St. Pete, I had VIP booth there, you know. I had one of the best booths in the on the field. And I used to I would haul in sand and, and grade it in the dog pens for them every year. Oh really? Yep, I worked there at the dog track. We I bring well subcontracted. I bring in with my, my loader and my dump truck bring a real fine uh, masonry sand is what they yeah. have in. Yep. Graded, yeah, I, uh, a couple of times I graded the track for them. So. Yeah, they they at least two or three times a year they give me the old grand tour of the track and tell me how they've how they've tweaked things and why this costs more money and that costs more money because I was involved with the financial management of the gaming operation and <laughs> and that covered the whole track even the even the fixtures so so yeah yeah touring the dog pens and a lot of people don't understand some of those finer issues that, that occur that's cool though that you work there yeah, doing I'll that i'll tell you uh, uh, a little thing that a fellow of mine that i used to work with years and years ago oh shoot it's been almost 40 years ago and he followed the dogs to all, around all three tracks, and that's all he did. I mean, he just followed those dogs. And he told me that a Class A dog, if that rabbit was to break down, a Class A dog would run right past that rabbit because he knew why he was there. That's it. They, they, he, he wouldn't that, stop. But if it was a Class C or B dog, if they caught that rabbit, they were yeah, done. You, they they were done. done as those dogs. I've, but, uh, I've they, actually, because I, I bet on the dogs a lot. Back in the day, I, boy, I spent a lot of money betting on the dogs, and I watched B's and C's actually trip over each other and pile up. If the <laughs> rabbit dies on the track, they're piling up, man. They'll trip right over each other because oh, yeah. they're hitting. They're hitting the binders. Or it's done. And a class A dog, that's how bitch finishes the race. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> that dog, that dog. Once that rabbit moves, that dog ain't stopping until he comes back across the line. You yep. know, it's it's like I'll catch the rabbit on my way back after I pass him once. You know, after I win, and after I win this race, <laughs> after I win the race, I'll snap the rabbit, and and that gets real interesting in a betting situation when you'll have a hiccup on the rabbit, and I've seen hiccups where the rabbit will will do a stall. It doesn't do a complete stop. It does a stall. And I've watched Class E dogs actually get run over by a Class A dog or a Class B dog. You know, because the, the C, 
they're all they care about is the rabbit. The other dogs are running, and it's like, don't hesitate right in front of me. I plow your ass over it. Yeah, oh, those were days too. Boy, we could talk for days. That'd be funny. Uh, yeah. Mojo, thanks for having me. Stop. No, I'll check you guys, man. Anytime, loader man. You guys are yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. And I'm gonna step on down, Mojo. I'll keep be keeping my eyes out for you. No, yeah. I'll be watching you. I'm gonna keep my <laughs> eyes out for you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, nothing until tomorrow. I, this is my day off. You know, it's you won't find off. me on YouTube today. No, not at all. I don't go on the internet at all. Y'all have a good weekend. You yeah, too. Take care, you guys. Enjoy Everybody both. in the chat, ha have a fabulous day. Go buy somebody a cup of coffee today and put a smile on somebody's face. Do and that. I will see you guys on the next cook. Bye-bye.